uh, quarters. Pero dito, yung limang pinasok mo, the five on the floor, remain on the floor for the duration of the period. Wala pong sub dito. Correct. And uh, then you have another set of five dito po sa second quarter. Right. Another five in the third quarter. All developmental po yan, Noel. No? So yes. you have five different sets of players for every quarter. Then sa fourth quarter, free for all na yan. Yeah, free for Coach's all na discretion. Na so you can actually foul out in one quarter dito kasi walang palitan. And we've seen that happen That's earlier. Right. Earlier kanina sa game for third place, may nag-foul out niya. Uh, we can see the lineup here para sa magkabilang kumpunan flashed on our screens. Well, itong kumpunan ng Adamson University have uh, already masasabi na nating uh, staple na dito sa ating uh, national finals sa uh, personal division. They were also in the finals in Baguio City. So, uh, they are starting off itong kumpunan ng uh, Adamson University starting off with uh, Sir Michael Hans Tabu-Tabu wearing jersey number four and the guy at the free throw line whose free throw does not count because of a lane violation. Is uh, ito si Kim Rivera joined in the starting lineup as well by Prince Tubon, John Alforte, at itong si uh, Jeffrey Malilim. So right now, bola ngayon ng Taitung. Still no score in this one. Good defense inside by Adamson. At uh, Taitung, of course, uh, Rico, you're very familiar with some of these players. Well, again, Taitung is not a very tall lineup. Uh, tallest guys at 5'11 right now, they're playing yung tipong small ball. Uh -huh. Okay, because, not because they don't have it. They just don't have a choice. Uh, they do like to move the ball around. They took uh, they take advantage of guys like William Mero to slash inside. Right. Uh, and uh, they're trying to get well, last time kasi. Uh -huh. so just try to get open by ball movement and again rotation of the ball. Well, here's an outside shot. We still have no field goals at ating laban dito, Rico. And uh, Adamson now on the attack. Adamson, of course, in the dark jerseys. Going all the way. Still no basket in this one. But that's going to be a turnover contra dito sa Taitong uh, Bacolod. Well, very typical of a championship game right now. Medyo gigil. They are not yet relaxed. The yes. coach advised it. Relax lang kayo. It's still starting. Kaya zero zero pa tayo. Once things start settling down, medyo we'll see. Kumbaga... Uh, a little bit more beautiful basketball. Yeah, yeah we, we don't expect really much lopsidedness finals na nga ito. And uh, Adamson actually blistering the opposition here uh, to, uh, en route to the finals, but can't seem to buy a basket here. Good defense uh, as a group being played by uh, Bacolod Taito. Uh, we're going to have a shot block as well. They are the smaller team. Good hustle being shown by the Negrenses. Well, you're talking about defense on the part of Bacolod Taito. 2 3 lang sila na well. No? They're, uh -oh. they're daring the guys to shoot outside. Adamson na ka 1 3 1 defense. Jumper and our first field goal of the game coming from Bacolod Taitung. They have the early lead. And uh, I believe was that. Uh, That's Christian Perig with a left handed uh, point guard. A very young young guy right now. And he is like the second point guard in the rotation. Nila. Right. So again, the, the thing here is with three quarters, you know, you need three point guards. That's true. And two pairs of dos tres and cuatro cinco oh, nga, eh. to have a deep bench. You have 15 uh, players total on the lineup, and Adamson is yet to get on the board at uh, the free throw line. Ngayon, ito si Prince Andrew uh, Tubon. Uh, he's uh, it's a guard. He's five foot six. I'll check that. That is. That's a close lane, but yeah. with a lane violation. Yeah, with a lane violation. Yeah. Uh, nakalagay kasi dito sa ating lineup eh. Yeah, okay, now I got it. <laughs> I'm marking the wrong numbers. Okay, we will get to all of these players in just a bit, but still no basket, still no points. Para sa kumpara ng Adamson. Getting it inside, jumper is short. And recovery made here by the uh, Baby Falcons. They're on the attack now. Here's Miranda. And we have a deep three. This is a miss. Galing naman dito kay Kenyal. And again, out of what? 10,000 attempts. Still nothing for Adamson. Again, Bacolo Taitung forcing them to go shoot, shoot outside. 2 three lang kami. Until you make your outside shots, we'll try to protect and defend against Ben Salid, the tallest guy on the floor. A better defense now being played by Adamson. A phalanx of shooters from the outside. Still no basket for Adamson. It is still 2-0. We did not expect this, Rico. These are probably two of the highest scoring teams in the league. And uh, they're facing off here in the finals, but under seven minutes remaining, still no field goal for Adamson. And only two points for Taitong. Nice dagdagan. 
And then, you know, well, both teams have scored major lopsided games, uh, wins rather, in the elimination round. Eh? Right. So, yeah, people expect like, a high octane offense on both sides. The way I see, parang gigil pang yung dalawang teams. Eh. A good handles that time, but a little bit overzealous. Traveling violation naman ang itatawag. Ano mga alam sa the key right now, you make your outside shot against the two-free zone. Tapos get Buen Salida involved. Buen mm -hmm. Salida partner, a guy from Davao, uh, rookie last year, second year guy here. Six to easily head and shoulders, literally above everybody else. I would think so. There's the drive once again. That is a uh, little bit uh, suicidal that time. We have a three on two going the other way now. Para sa Bacolo Taitong and still nothing. There's going to be a foul. It will stay on the side of the home court or the home team. Alam mo sa alam saan na nawal nakikita natin, no? Surprisingly, dun sa elimination round games, they were patient. They were able to move the ball well. Pag half court offense, passing the ball around, setting things up. Nakikita natin ngayon, they're pushing it. They're forcing the issue right now. Something that we know they're not supposed to be doing. That's right. As a coach, you'd hate to see that. Of course, you, uh, my friend, are very much involved in this program as we have another <laughs> basket here. Para naman sa kupunan ng, uh, that's again, uh, Perigua. That's his second field goal. So I hope I'm getting the names right already right now. So, inaayos pa natin yung listahan. But again, oh, almost thrown away. And this will be a turnover against Adamson. Very uncharacteristic. Yes. Oh, well, I mean, this is not the Adamson that we know of, that we know about. Again, a point dito, buti na lang, they are lucky, they're only down by four. So that, that's very manageable right now. Again, the problem kasi dito, no, well, diba, in this rules, you cannot call, kumbaga, you cannot sub. Yes. So you're stuck with the five players on the floor right now. Uh, forced the turnover this time for the Baby Falcons. Good pressing defense, almost a turnover. It will stay with the blue shirts with 19 to shoot. So get credit to defense. Actually, very impressive uh, all-around defense for uh, Bacolod Taitong High School. There's a three. Still nothing for Adamson. Still nothing for Adamson. That's Gwen Salida missing. I'm counting five uh -oh. shots from inside there. Nah? That's just alabas. Wala pa rin makasubok. Why? It's going to be a violation. Naman ang tawag ganito. Two-three zone nga lang ang ina-apply ng Bacolod Taitong. Kaya lang, you can call it parang a scrambling two-three zone. That's right. Spread that's right. out... Uh, and they're doing a good job. Number one, Adamson, you're not making the outside shot. So, you're giving the 2-3 zone. You're making them look good. An attack that time. Comes up empty. Para sa Bacolod Taitong. That was uh, Palaganas. Entry pass ngayon. Will this be the first one? Still nothing. Well, I don't know. I don't have the official stats with oh, yeah, right But 0-4-5 right. or 0 6 is Bren Sanida. Hopefully, he'll use this free throw no, to get things going. And of course, yung kanilang coach, Gino Enriquez, not happy with the start. So that will be uh, finally a point for Adamson. From the free throw line, galing adito kay uh, Joseph Palaganas. Oh, check that. That's... Uh, Buen Salida. Buen Salida, yeah. yep. Aaron Buen Salida, 6'2". A highly recruited player yeah, out of Davao. That's right. Of, uh, two, uh, well, two years ago, freshman as in last year. More than halfway through this first quarter, our score is 4 to 1. Outside attempt does not work. Again, good hustle, forcing the jump ball. Possession arrow will stay with the uh, Taitung High School, Bacolod. We're going to have our first timeout called by Taitung High School. They are up 4 to 1 against Adamson University. What a start. We'll be right back. Four minutes and 48 seconds po ang natitira dito sa ating first period. That is correct, folks. It is only 4-1 to one in the national championship of the Pasarel Division. Both teams struggling, actually. I can't say Adam lang struggle, eh. Isa pa lang din na nakakashoot dito sa kumpunan ng Bacolod Taitong High School. 
But offense has been one thing for both sides. Well, two things right now. The lo- number one, the kill factor on both sides, obviously. Yeah. Cannot execute. Number two, yung defense naman. Uh, give credit to the defense of both sides yes. right now. Still no field goal for Adamson. And that's going to be a foul against the Baby Falcons. And another offense. Not a single pass was made. Right. No setup at all. Dere derecha lang. And you know that Coach Gino does not like that kind of offense. That's very right. Uh, you have five teammates, or you have four teammates on the floor. Di pwede isa lang ang nagdadala. Well, kasama, uh, ito kasi sa Pasarel and even the SBB division later on, nakikita natin yung maturity level ng players. That's true. It's a developing age right now. Uh, you can teach so much at practice, but when the real thing takes place, uh, bigla nang... Naging kanya-kanya. Uh, oh. <laughs> 4-1 pa rin po ang ating score. Adamson's defense trying to spread out as well, but they will be tagged with another foul. Now here, how many team fouls? Four team fouls. That is your limit. Yes, that's right. Sa SBP division naman, seven team fouls is your limit. And I like the way Coach uh, Tata Belanghel is going to that. Parang mini mismatch. Eh? One three one kasi yung depends ng Adamson. They're putting William Mayer to attack Miranda, right. number 15 guy. That is a forced turnover. Good extension on the defense. That time coming from Adamson University. Credit goes to uh, John Tony Alforte. And we haven't seen Adamson take advantage of its size. Ang lalaki nila, right. they're bigger, they're quicker. There's, they continue to attack the zone, however, but that zone stands tall. And still no field goal for the Falcons. Rico, almost six minutes gone by in the game. And if they don't so- solve that zone, they'll be in big, big problems. That's a miss from the outside. And great defense once again for Bacol and Taito. Good extra pass. That's going to be a layup plus a foul. Excellent teamwork shown by the Negrenses. And I forgot to mention, Noel, and dito po, Bacol and Palato. Mm. So you have a hometown crowd. <laughs> right. The Taito High School cheaters are here. Their parents, mga spectators dyan. And they would love nothing else than a win on home soil. Now this is Andy John Villamer. Listed at 5'9", plays a lot taller than that. He will miss the free throw, but offensive rebound. Para ulit din sa Bacolod Taitung. And that was uh, an empty trip. Here comes Adamson on the attack. Finally a field goal for the Baby Falcons, courtesy of Christian Perigia. Oh, check that. That's uh, on the other side. This is uh, courtesy of Nicole Hill Quinal. 6'3". Three-pointer on its way. Nice looping shot that time. Coming from that's Perigia. Alam mo, that's a basic setup to attack the one 2 one. one 3 one you depends on mo, set up ka 2-1-2. Two, two. If right. the wrong guards at the top will be open pag nag passing sila. Perigua with seven first quarter points. He's got seven of the nine. Alforte wants it back. Can't get it back. And a foul once again. Contra sa Adamson. Again, the, in 2 three zone of Taitung is doing a great job. Adamson, nahihirapan sila mag-execute yung offense nila eh. They cannot get right. into the big guy, Ben Salida. Hindi rin naman pupasok yung outside shots nila. If they can't hit it from the outside, that zone will continue to have a fiesta, Mr. Navarro. Oh, yes. Short of a mascara fiesta dito. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you know, in the opening ceremonies ka po, well, we had a mascara theme eh. Mm-hmm. Lahat naka-mascara. That's Tapos right. Sumayaw pa sila ng ano, mascara, so... Continuing the Tascara Fiesta for, for Bacolod. Well, I expect tonight sa ating uh, fellowship party, yes, yes. may magsasayawan din ng mga oh, bata oh. ulit yan. Eh, hindi nawawala yung showdown. Definitely. I remember in Baguio City uh, last year, yung magkakasama tayo, you actually did an excellent job hosting that <laughs> with all of the uh, young kids dancing. Sabi nga nila, this is the championship game on the floor. May isa pang championship mamayang gabi. Mamayang gabi, mamayang gabi. <laughs> Now that's a fun part of a national finals weekend. Uh, all eight teams get together in one venue. Right. They sleep in the same venue. They get to talk to each other, meet each other, exchange notes. May mga swapping, swapping, uh, swapping of t-shirts, oh, correct, correct, swapping correct. of keychains, mga ganon. And uh, you climb, well, the highlight will be the fellowship night tonight after yeah. the championship games. And of course, uh, maya maya po after this one will be the SBP championship naman. That will, of course, feature another battle of uh, Manila against Visayas, but this time it's the University of Visayas coming out of Cebu City, a team you're very familiar with, I'm sure, oh, uh, yes. going up against uh, La Salle Green Hills out of Metro Manila. You know, basketball powerhouses, yeah. That's true. In the age group divisions. Seven to shoot. They do shoot. However, nothing there. Paras Adamson still no field goals. 
Um, the Inside, shot, yeah. yeah. But the shot was there. The oh. look was there. Ayaw na pumasok. Three-pointer on its way. Maganda bitiw nitong uh, batang to. That is, of course, uh, Christian uh, Perigua. There's another foul and more free throws coming up for uh, Bacolod Taitung High School. And that's Billy Murphy, you know, well, you're talking about 5'9", yeah, he plays bigger than 5'9". Officially, he's like a power forward or a center. Right. But at 5'9". And here you go, going up against a guy 6'2", may sa pa 5'11", but he has that maybe, quickness no, to go around, that quick first move. That was sidestepping. Yeah, but he's a wide 15-year-old. As in, malaki katawan. Yes. So, can use that to the hilt against even taller defenders. And a good touch from the free throw line as well. Plus a decent three-point shot. Yun nga eh. so he's, he's got all the kumbaga, ingredients in it. No? Well, at the age of 15, pag hindi pa siya naka growth spurt within the next, <laughs> ta, within the next three years, oh, yeah. kailangan matuto na siya maging guardia. Oh. Two free throws made. Biggest lead of the game for Bacolod Taitung High School. 12-3. to three, And still nothing inside for Adamson. I don't know what Adamson might want to consider, set a play for that, but get somebody involved sa weak side para right. mag-drop pass or outside shot. Well, we're approaching the final two minutes, Rick, of this uh, first quarter. Tatatlong puntos pa lang na itatala nitong Baby Falcons. On the run, wild shot, nothing there. And the rebound picked up here by uh, Kinyal. They get it inside, turn around, finally a basket, but this is a transition one coming from Aaron Buensalida. And his first field goal in, again, about six or seven attempts, yeah, that's maybe? right, that's right. Buen Salida will remind, actually reminds me of a very young Noy Baclau. Oh. You remember, of course, Noy oh, Baclau did start his collegiate career in West Negros West College. West Negros, dito yeah. yan, dito yan. Two blocks away, or less, yeah. than, less than a block I away from here. I would think so, yes. Yes, yes. And ito nga, it reminds me of a very young Noy Baclau, and actually might wind up becoming the next Noy Baclau. But of course, he would uh, prefer to be the uh, the first Aaron Buenzalida. And we see Adamson preparing him for the bigger wars up ahead. Oh, no, man. Giving him a lot of confidence, giving him a lot of playing time exposure here. May free throw good, yeah. May touch pass from the free throw line. So, 12 to 6. Agating score. Still the lead for Bacolod Taitong. And like you said, Adamson actually is actually lucky, you know, to be behind by only 6 right. in this game. With the way they're playing. Well, let's just say that Bacolod Taitong High School has not really shot the ball well as, uh, as, well. as much as they would like. And here's another turnover. Could be a breakaway. And the layup is good. Coming from uh, John Tony Alforte. That's his second field goal of the game. So it is now 12 to 8. Inside incursion. No whistle that time. Drop pass. And that's going to come up short. And you can see Buen Salinas' length really making a difference now on defense. On the attack. Atras muna. Ito si Alforte. They move the ball around. Oh, nice extra pass this time. Alforte, that comes up short. Battle for the rebound. And traveling against Adamson. Okay lang. Even with that traveling violation, ito yung Adamson that we've seen for the past two games. That's true. They passed the ball around. They were patient with it. Again, the shot was not made, but that's what the coach likes. Okay lang yan. As long as we took a good shot, we got the offensive rebound. But that's the way Adamson is expected to play here. Well, for Coach uh, Mark uh, Belangel, para sa Bacolo Taitong High School, you would like to, you're liking what you see right now. It's not a high-scoring game. Yes. Papaburan niya, papabur sa kanya to. Eight seconds to shoot. Can they control it? Oh, they actually reset the shot clock. Pass inside against three. Oh, nice drop pass, layup. Everything but the basket that time for Bacola Taitung High School. Final shot could belong to Adamson. They're down by four. And Miranda is trapped. Here's Kenyal. Oh, nice threading needle, and there you go! At the buzzer pa yun, Rico. You know yun, that was precisely Adamson executing versus Kanina's of earlier. Well, one pass offense, the red on me ball. And that's Adamson for you. Well, after the first 10 minutes of action, just a two-point lead for Bacolod. Taitung High School, 12-10. to 10. This is the championship game of the Pasarel Division. Stay with us. We'll be back for more after these.
just log on to our fan page on our Facebook website. That's Center Sports Inc. And for our Twitter at Best Center Inc. And Instagram at the Best Center. And we are now. Second period, nagsimula na po dito sa ating kinalalagyan, St. LaSalle Coliseum in the University of St. LaSalle in Bacolod City. Coming to you live right here on Spin.ph. Noel Zarate with Rico Navarro. This is the championship game of the Pasarel Division in our uh, Milo Best uh, Twin Tournaments. SBP Pasarel Twin Tournaments 2016. And so far, so good para sa Bacolod Taitung High School. They carry a two-point lead into this second period. They actually led by as much as nine points but 7 to nothing run ang binitiwan ng Adamson towards the end of that first. Ako kung boxing to parang ano eh, they took an early lead, yes, they controlled it before Adamson finally settled down to, to find its range by being patient. Well, 10-9 pa rin yung round. 10-9 pa rin. <laughs> <laughs> Nakahapon lang na konti. Buti hindi nga 10-8 eh. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have a new set of players here for both squads and uh, cannot meet the shot clock that time. So, refresher tayo ngayon, Noel, no? again, for every quarter, first, second, and third, you have a new set of five players. That's right. So, a new set of five players for both sides. So, we will get acquainted with the uh, five on the floor. Like this man, that's the first triple of the game. Paris Adamson University, and that is courtesy of uh, Julian Tubig. Now, this is the outside shooting that we were looking for in the first quarter. Now, wala yun against the two-phase zone. So, this will force the two-phase zone to open up a bit. Ito ngayon, the, well, my worry no, for the Taitung, this is their smallest set of five in the game or for the entire game. And may mga shooters na para sa Adamson. That's going to be a turnover against Taitung. Adamson now actually with their first lead of the contest. 13 to 12 is our score. And they can add to that on this offensive. And let's see if they go to the big guys inside the paint. But they still being patient then. Again, moving it around. And there are more shooters, I'm saying. They have addressed the zone. And that was a three-pointer naman galing dito kay Juan Emanuel uh, Hakosalem. So it's now 15 to 12, courtesy of Adamson. And again, like I said, outside shooting will kill the 2-3 zone. So Coach Mark Balanghel will have to think twice now. Do I switch from 2-3 to 2 to, to man? Stepping on the sideline, pati yung depensa, or stepping on the baseline rather, pati yung depensa ng Adamson. Tumindi na rin dito sa second quarter, Rico. And like we said, I mean, settle down, relax lang. And ito, ito na yung Adamson uh, that we've seen for the past two days. I mean, a day and a half dito po sa Bacolod. Here's Tubi, get a three-pointer earlier. This is a long three. And that is going to be a miss coming from Escalante. And now for Bacolod, Taitung High School, they're on the attack. Almost taken away. Good recognition and Ata picking bola. One extra dribble got um, Fritz Valencia into the lane. Well, Fritz Valencia is the go-to guy of this quarter for Taitung. And uh -huh. he's practically the only legitimate scorer. So he will really have to pick up the pace here. And again, you said this is the smallest lineup. Nice backdoor play. Reverse layup is a miss, however. It is still saved. Here's too big. They get it out to Tubon. They try that play one more time, but this time, mas maganda ng basa ng depensa ng Taitung. Alam mo, advantage when you have 5-5-5 playing. Kanina kasi, during the first quarter, we saw the assistant coaches of Adamson pull out the second set of five mm -hmm. and to really go over the game plan against a 2 free zone. Three-pointer is a miss, and we will have a whistle underneath. And that's going to be a Scalante tag for the uh, personal foul. Ito yung Taitong, pesky, small but pesky inside and picking up yung mga rebounding fouls like that and getting these kind of breaks. But you've got to score. 
That's right. 15-14 sa ating talaan. Again, very patient offense, but a little too patient. We have three seconds on the shot clock. They have to let it fly. That's going to be offline. Coming here from Valencia. Valencia is the only one to have scored so far here in the second period for Taitung. And he'll be taking a lot of shots for this set of five. Baseline jumper, not there. Almost lost it. I mean, if I must add, Etna, this is Adamson's chance to break the game wide open right. against this weaker, relatively weaker Taitung side. Valencia. Missing that time. Battle for the rebound. Cleared by the Baby Falcons. Escalante into the front court. Escalante has too big to the side. Too big tries to get it out. Broken play already now for Adamson. They have to recycle this. Tend to shoot. Too big does not shoot. Escalante traveled. I think too big had a wide open shot that time, Rico. Again, you've got to be confident that you took a three point shot early for Masakyun. Tina lang. Again, coaches naman eh, if you're open and it's your shot, go ahead and take it. Especially if, with, even if you miss it, okay lang. Right, especially with four seconds on the shot yes. clock. Valencia trying to be patient, almost had his pockets picked. Six minutes to play here in the second. Valencia zigzagging. Valencia can't get it to go. Valencia stays with it. Shot clock did not reset. Five to shoot for Taitung. They have to get it off. Two seconds. They do get it off, but it did not go in. And to the front court, Adamson. And that's going to be a foul. I don't know if that's going to be in free throws. But you got a six foot one uh, Ahmad Hanapi dribbling the ball all the way. No free throws awarded. Anthony, you're seeing the more athletic Adamson guys eh? here right. in the second quarter against uh, Bukubaga, the scampering Titan side. And they've been attempting a lot more threes than their predecessors in the first period. That'll go back to uh, Taitung Makolod. So we're going to have Hapai inbounding. And Lester Hapai. And once again, Valencia. Fritz Valencia tries to thread the needle. It's intercepted. Four on three going the other way for Adamson. It's taken away. Good adjustment sa defense naman para sa Taitung Makolod. But they haven't been able to attack the 1-3-1 defense of Adamson. They're trying to get it into the post. Two-man game. Floater does not work. And I think it's better to bring it to a legit point guard. That's exactly what they do, Escalante. And the drive. Difficult reverse does not work. And great hustle there shown by Bakolo Taitung. I think if you can't get the rebound up top, straight down low. So keeping it low scoring, ginagawa rin yes. Bakolo Taitung. That's great strategy against his high octane offense. Lang Adamson, three pointer, does not work that time for Valencia. And to the front court ngayon para sa Falcons. Hanapi to Bon. Spin move, almost lost it. Too big. Eight to shoot for Adamson, and again a turnover. And a foul in the backcourt. Again, you got to give credit to the hustle being shown by Bacolo Taitong High School. They have kept it low scoring, and they're only down by one against Adamson. We have a timeout. We'll be right back. Kwento mo yun, kwento mo yun, kwento yun. Four minutes and 11 seconds remaining here in our second period. It is 15 to 14 in favor of Adamson University once again. Coming to you live over Spin.ph. This is the championship game of the Pastel Division of the uh, Milo Best 
SBP Pasarel Twin Championships here in Bacolod City, Noel Zarate, alongside Rico Navarro. And I believe the last time I worked with you, sir, was I think 12 years ago. I think it's wow. been 12 years ago. Uh, we did the Champions League in Cebu. Yes, yes. That's a long time ago. But again, um, you've also been heavily involved in the uh, Milo Best program for, uh, I don't know what, um, years already. Oh, 10 to 11 years now. Wow. The first encounter not in the world with the, the, the best center in a championship game like this. Believe it or not, grade 6 pa sila. Uh -huh. Kid Montalbo oh. versus Sturdy Ravenna. Oh, magkalaban na naman yun. Oh, eh. Taitong <laughs> and uh, Ateneo. Wow. And I guess they're drawing inspiration from Kim Montalbo. That's a great drive there coming from Fritz Valencia to give the lead back to the home school. But again, I'd like to see other guys involved. It's all Fritz so right. far for Taitung. Eh? Others guys, you have to score. Adamson's been spreading the wealth here. But it really hasn't translated much to many points. Three-pointer has a line drive. Mintis naman. Para dito kay... Uh, I believe that was Escalante. Adamson takes it away. Escalante now with it. In that situation, Taitung again automatically looked for Fritz. Somebody was actually open on the other side. Right. Escalante finally gets a field goal. He was 0 for 4 before that one. I know your pattern dito na well for every five, no, every quarter. You always have your two or three designated scorers. Mm -hmm. With Escalante and Hanapi there for Adamson. Kaya lang sa Taitung, it's only Valencia. Let's see if we can get anybody else involved. Oh, that's a good pass. Open shot. Open three. Can't get it to go. And working very hard to get the rebound once again. Smart tap. Taitung. Smart tap by Gulmatico. So that's an of rebound. Yan, huh? That's true. A controlled tap to a teammate. They'll run the same play. This time bring it closer. And finally a basket. That was a player number eight, uh, Rico. That was uh, Mercado, John Mark Mercado. Penetration. Good defense once again. Good hustle as well for Adamson to keep it on their home floor. Dubon. Escalante. Making his move. Drop it inside. A little too strong for Hanapi. Hanapi tries again. And this time he gets it. Plus the foul. And I was about to say the defense of Taito was holding up, holding up uh -huh. until yung shot ni Hanapi. I mean, Hanapi scrambling for the loose ball underneath. This is where the height edge comes in right. for Adamson right now. I mean, the defense is tough inside for Taito. Kaya lang rebounding wise offensive glass, Hanapi will be there. Rivera will be there as well. Hanapi gets the free throw to drop. It is 20 to 18 for Adamson University. Under two minutes to play. Parang bilis ano? Under two minutes to play dito sa ating second period. Valencia, series of moves, can't get it to go. Here's Hanapi, all by himself. Hanapi, all the way! Well, Six foot one who can dribble that well, huh? Well, I thought of taking matters into his own hands right now. In transition, he recognizes na hindi sumasabay yung taitong diretso na ako. This is now the biggest lead of the game for Adamson University. Four points. And many people expected, pagpasok dito, ah, kaya-kaya ng mga taga-Manila ito, mga taga-Bakolod, pero ang puso pinapakita ng Taito, ha? On the home floor. Pero on their home floor. And as I was about to say, Adamson expected for second quarter, expectations, 10-point lead na yan. Oo, uh, oo. Uh, uh. Well, they're halfway there. It's a five-point lead with a minute and 37. Let's see kung ano magiging response dito ng Bakolod Taitong. That's an open shot, passed up. Oh, bad pass! And it's recovered in the backcourt by Valencia. And that's what precisely I said earlier. Why do you keep looking for Fritz Valencia? Uh -uh. Coach Mark was signaling to the other guy, you're open, take the shot. Okay yes. lang yan if you're open. Don't rely too much on Valencia here. Tubon. That's his first attempt. He's strong. And a rebound picked up and a bad pass once again. Tubon in trouble. Too big. Want to go cross-court. Dangerous pass. Uh-oh. That's a delayed call, but a correct call. Dribbling violation or traveling. Mamili ka. Pareho niyang ginawa. And why was that violation called? Again, he was waiting and looking for Fritz Valencia. Uh -oh. Parang ano eh, parang automatic kasi. You've got to have that confidence. Take the ball, dribble it a couple of times, then look for your teammates. Now we're approaching a minute remaining here in our second period. Tandaan din natin dito sa SBP Pasarela Twin Championships because of the fact na nagpapalitan ng limang player. Wala tayong halftime. Yes. 
Loose ball foul called on Adamson. I know the, the irony of it all, you parang you will quote unquote the half time here is actually the end of the third quarter. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> then they give both teams like their half time break, How do okay, a short break to get to think things over and uh, prepare things for the fourth quarter. Well, Bacolod Taitong High School calls for time. They are down by 5, 23 to 18 against Adamson University. We'll be right back. Back with us here live, ladies and gentlemen, at the University of St. LaSalle Coliseum, Bacolod City. Napakaganda nitong facility na to, Rico. Excellent floor, excellent place, ventilation is great. Right. I wish we could play more games here, no? Uh, well, I'd like to give a shout-out to my volleyball friends who uh, used to play on this very floor. Yes, I thought, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Players of the University of St. LaSalle, ladies, Stingers. Yeah, sila Pati Orendain, sila Beauty Danila. Hope you guys are enjoying, and uh, we have a basket inside naman para sa... Taitong Bacolod. He's your little, the little big guy, si Gulbatiko. Yeah. And again, he's a guy who can step up and help Valencia scoring. Well, he hasn't had many attempts, but he's been helping in a lot of ways, rebounding and uh, assisting in that turnover as well. So the lead is down to three. Last shot could belong to Bacolod Taitong if Valencia can get out of trouble. Valencia turns the corner. Valencia on the drop-off. Jumper is bothered. And recovery made. Valencia tries to reach in and he will be called for the foul. Neither team in the penalty. So we have 6.5 remaining in the second. Let's see what Adamson comes up with. Want to pad this three-point lead. They will go to Escalante with a very deep three. And at the buzzer, good if it goes. So 23 to 20 at the end of the second period. 23 to 20 is our score. And uh, we can assess already that uh, this could go down the wire depending on the uh, third period uh, five for both squads. And we will have that for you when we return. And we continue now with our third period. Mula Purito sa University of St. LaSalle in Bacolod. Championship game of the Pasarel Division between Bacolod Taitung High School and Adamson University. And immediately, a turnover forced by Adamson. The layup doesn't go. Noel Zarate is still alongside Rico Navarro. We are off and running here in the third period. Ito the well right now. You're taking a look at the... Kung baga, sa 3-3-3, or 3 quarters, no? The best five of each team. On a 1-2-3 setup. No? So right. again, uh, heavy with scorers on both sides. Pero para sa Adamson, as we have that airballed three, meron na silang repeater dito. Well, actually, we, we, we made a mistake. Jeffy Mailin did not play in the first quarter. We mentioned it earlier. But Mailin oh, is playing right. in the third, the number eight. That's right, that's right. Yes, so Jeffy Mailin. Kagan de Oro. I mean, Adamson here, Noel, they are from all over the country. That is true. <laughs> when I talk to them in Bisaya, okay lang. Oh. <laughs> 
Recruited, especially marami taga Mindanao din yes. dyan eh. However, unproductive, we're gonna have a breakaway here. Reverse left, ako pinaganda pa. Nagmintis tuloy. Ba't nag-reverse pa? Take it oh. Direct mo na. Miranda pulls up for three. And you uh, immediately know who his idol is. <laughs> and the attack now. It's a front court. Pakolo Taito wants to settle things down. Step back, three-pointer. They've actually tied this up. Offensive rebound. No shot. According to our referee, there's going to be a foul on the floor. Ito, options kasi ng Taito ngayon. You have Esparagosa, you have Alarcon. Uh, and uh, Kagalawan. These are guys who are who can score offensively no, for the Titan side. Kabilaman, my Ilim is the go to guy here, along with Esmenia, number six. Well, Tabo Tabo has called for the foul uh, against Adamson. Again, this is, uh, we're tied at 23. Not very many people expected this, but the credit, of course, the home court advantage of Bakolo Taitong, and there's going to be a duty foul given up to stop the fast break. Adamson has done nothing except run. This yeah. is the third quarter. Run, run, and run. So I'd like to see them what they did in the second and first quarters where they settled down for their half-court offense. Well, that's right. And yeah. Gentile Nagawan into the front court. Ngayon. And that's going to mean free throws. Player number eight, para dito sa kupuna ng Bakolod Taitong. That's gonna be uh and I was kind of surprised yeah. on that Adamson offense, half court offense against the zone. They were everybody was just stationary. Right. And like you said, that's easier for a steal to take place when you're predictable. That's actually Alarcon uh, wearing jersey number nine. He's heading to the free throw line. At the at the five nine, five ten guy who we said might be one of the Torres, but the Runya dos stress. Oh you know. Guy. Plain violation called, so one more free throw. Or substitute free throw to be given to Alarcon. So Harold Alarcon, 14 years old. Again, from uh, from experience, Rico, you've, you've been here for uh, over a decade already. May kita pa lang sa, sa kilos pa lang kung sino na may potential uh, to move up to the next level. Eh. Oh, definitely. And you see them blooming in a, in a format like this yes. because you have a full 10 minutes to play and they cannot you cannot be replaced right you you either make yourself or you break yourself or you foul out, you foul out. <laughs> <laughs> 24 23 in favor of Bacolo Taitung and the home crowd is starting to get noisy Tabo Tabo almost threw it away it will stay with the blue shirts with eight seconds to shoot and that's the scrambling two three zone of Taitung right now the same thing we saw in the first quarter Working now well for them. Long inbounds pass. Tabo Tabo on the drive. Lost the handle because he was hacked. And again, Adamson not passing the ball around. Uh -oh. Nag one on one lang yun, all the way. Eh? The little guy going all the way. Well, to, to the credit of that second quarter unit, Chile nagpahabul, yes. Chile nagpalamang. But that lead is gone. Unless this kid is 12 year old. Ito si uh, Sir Michael Tabo Tabo and it's really with a sir, huh? Sir Official Michael yan, Tabo Tabo. Oh. Nasa NSO yan, huh? NSO. <laughs> sir Michael. <laughs> But ito ngayon, like you said, you said 12 years old, the youngest set of players here in the Pasuel Division, 12, 13, 14 tayo. Hmm. Five 12-year-old players, five 13-year-old players, tapos limang 14-year-old players. Ganon. Required po yun. Uh, again, the developmental, the grassroots development approach. That's very interesting. So you see a lot of small guys right. and a lot of tall guys. Tan. Can't get it to go. Head to the front court. Adamson, we are tied at 24. Sloppy ball handling that time leads to a turnover. Layup too strong. Follow up. Yes. That was Kagalawan, I believe. And the, the, the hustle of Taitung doing it all for them. Right. And that's going to be another basket this time for Adamson. Tied at 26. Alarcon sees an opening. Yes! It is 28-26. Anong sagot ng Adamson? Traveling ang sagot nila. Again, you see Coach, you know saying, settle down. Relax tayo. No need to rush things. Mahaba pa to. 
Still have a fourth period in front of us. But this is entertaining itong third unit na magkabilang kumpunan because it's a running game. Alarcon again. This time challenged well. Look at this five on two situation for Adamson. And they can't get the layup. And then the layup the look was an excellent pass from Aileen. Right. This time it's a one on three. And uh, these kids are trying to rush things. Playing as if it's the final period. And I see them breathing heavily. <laughs> let's slow down a bit here. Tabo Tabo lets it fly. Way short. And here comes Bacolod Taitong. It's more of a pride factor. Manila po yung kalaban natin. Let's not give it to them easily. In fact, they're now confident that they can win this game. And it's going to stay with the white shirts. Ano ba mas mabigat? Pagkalaban ng uh, taga-Bacolod ng uh, taga-Manila o kalaban ng mga taga-Bacolod ng taga-Cebu? Ayun yung rivalry sa Visayas. Uh -huh. But right after that, if you can beat the Cebu team, of course, yung confidence mo. Uh -huh. Umangat, umangat. <laughs> Just like that. Nakaw-play yun, nakaw-play. <laughs> And that's gonna send uh, one of the Bacolod Titan players to the free throw line. That is uh, Kagalawan. Ralph Allen Kagalawan. Ito yung mga undersized power forwards nila. And again, technically, there's no power forward, there's no center. They're all just about the guards right. and wingmen. Well, there is no six-footer on this squad. Oh, yes. Bakolo Taitong uh, High School. Their tallest player is already uh, Christian uh, Perig uh, Peri uh, Perigua. Perigua, who saw action in the first period. And he's 5'10". <laughs> Lead is up to four right now. Biggest lead actually for Bacolod Taitung, believe it or not, was nine points way back in the first period when they led 12 to 3. Three pointer, Tabo Tabo, still can't buy one. Maalim. Maalim on the move. And there's gonna be a whistle. That'll send Maalim to the free throw line. Ito ngayon for Adams and Jeffy Maili, no? Oh, Maili, rather, yeah. Maili yeah. has been trying to take matters into his own hands also. Right. And uh, the coaches have been telling him that you don't have to do it all. You can pass the ball around, be patient about it. And, and that's one of the reasons they're be behind by four right now. Maili still can't get the free throw. Remember, kanina lima na po ang kalamangan dito ng Adamson. Yes. And this third unit has really turned things around for Bacolod Taitung High School. I know strategy-wise from the coach's perspective, they don't really build up. Eh. You put your best possible five deep as the third quarter. And that's what Taitung has done here in this game so far. Well, that lead is down to three after the split. Coming from Mailim. Five and a half to play in the third. Almost taken away. Alarcon, hang time! That's going to be a foul called against Adamson University on uh, Esmeña. And he literally, when coaches tell you, take it strong to yeah. the basket. Plus hang it once in a while. Well, Alarcon now ups the lead to six. 33 to 27. Still here in the third. Long three. Why not? That was a Carl Patrick Miranda. Wala pang bawing tres. Ang Taitung. Four on two. And that's just a good stop using the foul. Para sa Bacolod Taitung. That was a foul going to be called. On an Alcon. So it is 33 to 30. Halfway mark of the third an entire fourth period still to play now this is a championship game Mr. Navarro it's yeah, something that people didn't expect like we said earlier Adamson heavily favored but Bacolo Titan showing you know that uh, we are not going to give up oh Tabo Tabo ties it up and that's one out of three from beyond the arc but still you know a shooter will keep shooting and Amo, we, we were thinking about the big men doing it for Adamson and the, and the, and the go-to guys like Maidim but the smaller guys are doing it you have Tabo Tabo there and of course, earlier in the second, uh, may mga outside shooter, the two big head one. Then look at number 14 right now, also making the, uh, the si Miranda. Yeah. And the dalawang Miranda kasi to eh. Yeah, that's right. Yung isa nag-start, itong yes, si Rain. Oh. 
And like we said in the first quarter, if you make your outside shot for Adams, and then you open up the two-three zone. And here they're making the long tres. Alarcon has been uh, actually pretty good at the free throw line. That being said, panuri natin yung second free throw. <laughs> okay naman. <laughs> Hindi apektado. 35-33. Bakolod Taitung High School up by two with 4.35 to play in the third. Tabo-tabo. Left open once again. This time elects to pass the ball. And that is batted away. Third over once again. One on three. Alarcon will not pull it back. And that ends up getting blocked by Mailim. And Mailim is right there in front of them. He expected a drop step. Alarcon looking for a teammate. Wala nang teammate. So again, he'll have to settle for the inside the baseline inbound. Again, Bacolod Taitung. The crowd is now starting to swell. And they will not like this foul. Offensive variety called against Taitung. And I, there's a second whistle. Looks like there's going to be a warning as well. Ito kasi nga na eh. Maili was able to draw that charge. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, relationships developing in, between I think Kagalawan and Maili. Kaya lang Maili reacted to the foul call. So called for trash talking or taunting yan. Sige rin. Ayun, trash That's talking. right. Was that a technical or a warning? Warning pa. Warning pa lang. Kasi yung technical foul, mabigat dito sa amateur ranks. That's called oh, a, yes. as a personal foul as well. Maili is swinging around. Three-pointer. Not there. Follow-up is good. Now, these are the big guys who were looking for it. Now, Esmenya earlier when Salida or Esmenia. Hanapi in the second quarter. These are the guys you're looking for right now to dominate because they do have that height edge. Well, he's 14 years old but six foot three. Ooh. It's a leisurely three taken that time. It's going to be a miss by Alarcon. Tied at 35. Adamson can regain the lead on this possession. Mailim has it poked away. Alarcon in the front court. Alarcon on the drop. And that's just good recognition between two teammates. It's Kagalawan and Alarcon knowing each other so well. Tabo Tabo. Can't respond with the three. Nice save. They'll try it again. And it's taken away again. Into the front court, Kagalawan. Oh, missed the layup. But the follow up is good. Good trail job that time. And you're talking about confidence oozing right. for Taitung right now. That's uh, Esparagoza with a follow-up and a timeout called by Adamson. They have fallen behind by four here in the third. Three minutes and 17 seconds remaining here in the third period. Bakolo Taitung High School up by 4, 39 to 35 against Adamson University in the national championship in the Pasarel Division. And again, the Pasarel Division, ilambang member schools yan in this division, Rico, around the Philippines. Oh, you're talking about for NCR, at least 40 teams yan. Aha. Uh -huh. oh. Across the Philippines, there are 12 zones. Mm -hmm. In each 12 zones, you have six Pasarel teams. So six times 12 yan. Ganun ka rami. Ano ba yan? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> tayo, tayo nagbamat, kaya tayo, tayo broadcaster. Eh. Mailim able to give, uh, or to cut the lead down to just one with that three-pointer. And Mailim has the ball in his hands right now. Can give the lead back to Adamson. Under three to play in the third. Mailim asking for a pick. Mailim almost lost the handle. Mailim has had it the entire possession. Mailim, oh nice pass inside! Nicely done by Adamson. I was about to say that Maili was holding on to the ball too long. You can't hug it too much. Again, finally recognizing a teammate. That was Clarence Ramos with his first field goal of the game. Adamson, lamang na po ng isa. No response coming from Bacolod Taitong. And this is where Jeffy Maili must step up and get his other teammates involved. Like this one. 
That's a miss, however. Esmeña skying high. Esmeña can't get it to go. And again, good collapsing defense by Bacolod Taitung. And that's a very confident layup, but nobody boxing out the trailer. And Kagalawan scores again. On every transition, that trailer has always been there or the weak side help yeah. for a drop pass. Jeffy Mainim, under two minutes to play in the third. Sizing up the opposition, back to a 2-3 zone being played by Bakolo Taitung and Mailim ill-advised three. I know the third quarter in the well, Adamson will live and die with Mailim. Right. He takes a bad shot, Taitung takes over. He makes a good pass, they're okay. Well, it is a timeout now called by Bakolo Taitung. Their lead is one point. Stay with us. We'll be back for more. One minute and 35 remaining here in the third in this very tightly contested game between the Bacolod Taitung uh, High School in the white jerseys and ito namang Adamson in the dark jerseys. Tamal Zarate still alongside Rico Navarro. Glad to have you with us right here on Spin.ph National Championship of the Pasarel Division in the Milo Best pa SBP Pasarel Twin Championships here in St. Lasalle, Bacolod. Alam mo na ba when you talk about Manila versus anybody else? It's always right. Manila the favorite, no? But uh, I, I myself, I'm very happy to see Bacolo Taitung putting up a great, great fight That's here. That's right. A good response, though, after the made three coming from Miranda. So 44 to 42. We expect fireworks pagdating the fourth period. Oh, yes. That's going to be free for all. Anybody can get it done. As Kagalawan could not contain the pass. A chance to tie or take the lead with under a minute to play in the third. Jeffy Mailim getting a high screen from Ismenya. Horns play. Two screens. And Mailim makes use of both of them. And Mailim will do well. He is scored if he works with his teammates. Right. Okay, you work with your teammates, get that screen going, then your shot is there. 44 all. That's going to be a reach in. Both teams already in the penalty. That'll mean free throws now for Kagalawan. Or is that Kagalawan? That is... Actually going to the free throw line will be Kent Dustin Esparagoza. Well, the last time a provincial team okay, won the national championship was in 2014 uh -huh. when UV actually believed it upset Chiang Kai-shek. Wow. Okay. Uh, they upset them in the elimination round and went on to beat Holy Child College of Davao in the championship. That was in 2014. Chiang Kai-shek still had the likes of what? Uh, Dustin Chua, Justin Chua was still uh, well, in the lineup? Uh, no, Justin Tibayan in company. Ah, yeah, yeah, that was right. two years ago. Miranda hitting a three. So that's Carl, uh, Carl Miranda giving Adams a two-point lead. Still enough time for the last shot for Bacolod Taitung High School. But it is taken away. Esmeña, eight seconds. Miranda. Tumuyin na si Mailim sa orasan. Four seconds. One screen provided. Mailim zigzagging. Mailim cannot get it to go. But after losing the lead for a majority of the third, Adamson University has fought back to claim a 47 to 45 lead at the end of three periods. Fourth period, eto na labu labo This is for the championship. And we will have that for you when we return. Hey. 
We have the start of the fourth and final period in this tightly contested championship game between Adamson University and Bacolod Taitung High School. Adamson enjoying a two-point lead and I say enjoying kasi pinaghirapan nila Enrico Navarro. And not only that, I mean people are expecting Adamson to literally blow out this mm. Taitung squad. Taitung standing proud dito sa home court nila here in Bacolod City. And again, they are not, they're not going to give up easily here. But ito ngayon, Noel, best fives on the That's floor right now. That's supposed to be so, it, yeah. Ito ngayon, championship rounds. Escalante. Can't get it to go for Adamson. Kenyal drags it down. Escalante. They move it around. Sa gilid naman, mailim. And that's good boxing out. We're going to have a player down. I hope he's okay. I think it's Kenyal. Kenyal is uh, slow to get up. Bukang okay naman. Yeah, matibay-tibay mga bata pa. Pag nangyari sa atin yan, medyo tatlong araw sa ospital, mga ganon. Kahit wala naman nangyari. <laughs> Kahit ang Noel, continue to use a 2-3 zone. They haven't gone to man-to-man -man at all. Okay, so them. far, so good. May pressing defense na pinapakita rito, Adamson. They're still down. They're still ahead by 2. They want this to be more. Nice penetration, Alarcon. Can't get it to go. And here comes Hanapi. Hanapi trapped. Gets it out to Mailim. Mailim on the sidestep. Too strong. I know Jeffy Mailim is coming straight from the third quarter. Medyo pagod to, but he's on there. Right. Well, they need him on the floor as well. And that is a miss. Coming there from uh, Fritz Valencia. With a big lineup up for Adam Sana. Dalawang 6 2. Hmm. Wala pong 6 footers ang Bakalo Taitong. That's right, but they are. Getting the long rebounds, Valencia controls this one. Valencia still in the backcourt. Wow. That is an unforced turnover. Valencia was setting the play for more than eight seconds. Now, again, these are the things that you deal with in the developmental age groups. SP Passerel, uh, then under pressure situations like this, these things do happen. There's Kenyal. Defense extending now for Bacolod and Taitung. Kenyal tries to go inside. Good defense once again played. It's time by Valencia. And that is lifted up. Not there. Hanapi now into the front court. Hanapi somehow got it off. And if that shot had gone in, you'd be getting shot of the day not in. Solo defense being played. Valencia breaks the trap. Into the front court. Oh, nice defense there by Adamson. They want to slow things down. Two minutes gone by here in the final period. Kenyal, short. Gets it back. Kenyal, out of control. And not only that, you're seeing the little big guys of mm. Taito out rebounding. Ma 6-2-6-1. Six six Paganda na nga pwestuhan nila. Nose for the ball. And Valencia scores! So, think, these are when your pressure players step up for you. Valencia, you have a Villanel there for Taitung. Right. Another forced shot. I wonder why Adamson is rushing their offense, Rico. In fact, I'm asking, Coach, you might want to rest my evening. Give me two or three minutes at the bench. Pwede naman mag-sub dito oh, sa fourth. Oh, yes. Nice crossover. Oh, great drop pass! On the firing end that time, was Palaganas. 
Steve on the mound. And another takeaway. 49-47. It is a two-point lead for Bacolod Taitung. And I don't think Adamson University expected this much of a stiff challenge. Look at this venue. Practically half full already in the, in the lower part. Alam mo never, it's, well, contrasting to kasi, the ad, normally, the Manila teams, they're the ones who play more patient, more mm. organized basketball. Baliktad po tayo ngayon, ang Adam is the one playing bara-bara. Yeah. Then it's Taitong now going to a more structured, pass the ball around, we take a good shot if we can. But Adamson is not showing, again, what we are looking for from, from, from their structure, from their system. Ah, kumbaga, Adamson is trying to use brute strength yes. to overpower their uh, opponent. Nakaroon din tayo ng palitan dito para sa kumpunan ng uh, Bacolod Daitong High School. As uh, Esparagosa, Kent Dustin Esparagosa comes back in. He's part of the third quarter unit. Good ball movement again being shown here by Taitung. Ito na yung passing nila. Very good patience also being displayed and that leads to that basket. Again, patience always brings about a good shot. Right. Yun yun. Esparagosa giving Taitung a three-point lead and Hanapi stepped on the baseline. Again, the more confidence you give to Taitung, my worry for Adamson right now in the world is I don't think they've had a close game. Right. In, in the, from the right to Manila, yes. oh. Well, the championship game was close against the Lasagrinos, but Coming here, they've had blowouts. Eh? Right. Oh, that would have been big from Valencia, but he gets it back. They want to slow things down once again. Villamer tries to steady the troops. Penetration. Great defense that time played by Buenzalada. And all the way, the layup a little too strong that time for Mailim. Well, that's Mailim for you. Dere Good pick provided. Running shot, again turned back. Too many trees for Adamson. Hanapi with a block. And a foul against Taitung. That leads to this timeout, ladies and gentlemen. 51 to 48. Three-point lead for Bacolod. Taitung High School against Adamson University. Diyan lang po kayo. Kami po yung magbabalik. Five minutes and 54 seconds po ang natitira dito sa ating final period in the championship game of the Passerel Division. And educate me again, Mr. Navarro, why is the Passerel Division played before the SBP? Well, the SBP Division has always been the showcase. Uh -huh. Ang under-12 division kasi yan eh, the little kids. And we're gonna have a three-pointer drop for Adamson University. Courtesy of Kenyal. Tied at 51. Now, this is a championship game. And again, we haven't had many upsets. This could be one in the making. However, the defense of Adamson tried to prevent that from happening. Escalante gets it inside. Hanapi in reverse. It's good. Anthony Aferes is in there. So much bigger right now. And Hanapi there. Ganda ng reverse niya. 53-51. Finally, they get it across. Sidestep. Over to the side. And that's going to drop. Coming from Esparagosa. Fast break. That's not materialized for Adamson. Again, you can't do a fast break against four white jerseys. That's right. right. Penetration once again. And this time from the other baseline, Esparagosa makes it. And six straight points for Esparagosa. Oh, another steal. And Valencia says, slow it down. Esparagosa starting to feel it here in the fourth. Again, Bacolod Taitung High School showing a lot of heart. Esparagosa extending his range. Not that time. 
Lalonte picked up his dribble. The interesting to see how Adamson reacts. Will they be patient? Will they pass the ball around? That's going to be a set shot three. Kinyal. I don't know why Adamson is rushing the shot. Ang haba pa na shot clock, Nico. I was about to say that. Again, will they be patient? Will they pass the ball around? Will they not panic? I mean, 4 4 Again, matagal pa yan. 4 4 A lot of time left here. Palagalas and Alarcon check back in. Mailim with a short breather. He's back in for Adamson. 4-4, four four, yeah. Know, looking at Adamson under pressure. Will they crack? All right. Or will they step up? Yan yan eh. Three pointer comes up short. Mahilim ka papasuk pala. Tira ka agad. And battle for the loose ball. One. Oh! That would have been a press break already had the pass been contained. And you're seeing two things right now. Number one, Adamson again rushing their shots. Number two, it's Taitung scrambling, hustling. A bad pass there, but again, as a coach, you like that kind of energy. Right. I think they've gotten out to a man to man defense. Itong kupuna nga. Makolo Taitong. Will you go to your big guy? Well, this big guy is shooting from the outside. <laughs> Inside, oh, nice pass. Mansalida finding a teammate that time. Escalante scoring. Tied at 55. Again, exactly what I mean. Would you like to use your height edge inside or would you like to shoot outside? Well, that's a good question. How about this solo drive by Villaverde? Hustling for it. Alarcon gets it in the backcourt. Alarcon needs to find a friend. Three, and that's a long two. That is missed that time. Approaching three minutes to go. We are still tied at 55. And like I said, this is a championship game. Right. Mailim. Not shy to pull the trigger, and this time it works. Like I said, you know, Adamson, they, you live and die with Mailim. 58 55. The lead now belongs to the Baby Falcons. That's a turnover. Mailim moves to the corner and shoots it. Follow up. Not there. Third time around. Still not there. Fourth time around is a charm. By Buen Salida. The lead is up to five points now. And a timeout called by Bacolod Taitung High School. 60-55. Adamson will be back. Sixty to fifty-five. Po sa ating talaan, Adamson University enjoying this five-point lead. And when we say enjoying Rico Navarro, we really mean enjoying. Pinaghira pa nila magkaroon ng gato kalamangan. And this is where the playoff and championship experience. I hate to say this, of the Manila team takes over. Yeah. Any Manila teams, kasi the exposure, the competition, the level rather that they're up against. Uh, ito yung angat nila. Eh. Right. Question is, can Tai to hold on? Uh, Two twenty-seven. Still a lot of time left. Can Taitung keep their composure? Ito nangyari kasi, that turnover sila eh. That's because right. Because of that bad pass. These are the things that will matter now. Well, the question is, can the, can the local David slay the uh, <laughs> visiting Goliath? And the Taitung crowd is just right there, no? Supporting right. them all the way. Valencia, quiet so far. Draws the foul. Free throws coming up. This might open up some more offense from Fritz Valencia with 2 and 14 to play in the game. So Fritz Valencia, ganda rin ang kilos nitong batang to. And when you say that, uh, I do see some scouts here today. <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> some college scouts are already at uh, tagging. Bata pa to mga to eh. Pero ilalagyan na lang ng tag. Alam ko mo nyo, nakikita mo sila dito, dito ang chichir, nakaupo lang. Uh, But the uh, very, camera, very keen eyes. Yung yes. Valencia could draw the uh, eye of many scouts as he makes both free throws. Remember, these are still Pasarel players. Huh? They are not yet juniors players of the That's high right. school team. So. This is the same high school 
where Kim Montalvo came from. And uh, as you wrote in your article, went up against Kiefer Ravenna. Grade 6 Pasila. Oh, Grade 6 yeah, Pasila. Wow. Escalante. And the rebound falls into the hands of Bacolod Taitong. They have a chance to trim this lead. And that was a shorter Villiamere out boxing out the taller guys. Right. Uh-oh. It's taken away, however. That's going to be a foul against Adamson. Hanapi will be called for this one. Alam mo well dito, composure. Taitun committed a turnover. Kabila naman, the same thing. Another turnover for Adamson's side. Taitung down by three. Again, composure na lang. Who can execute? Fritz Valencia. Pick being provided. Valencia. Oh, that's a good call. He was called for the offensive foul. Good help. Defense or good extended defense that time by Adamson, courtesy of uh, Escalante. No decision making. Any, uh, do you want to force the issue or do you want to pass the ball around forward or pass the ball, get it back, uh -huh. and set your play again? Adamson still needs to score on this offensive, they're only up by a single possession. Kinyal setting it up, Escalante, Kinyal. Mailim gets the baseline, tries to drop it off, picked off by Valencia. Into the front court, Leon. Just a wild shot, no foul is going to be called that time. And under one, well, roughly one minute to play right now. Right. Again, you've got to pick your spots, you've got to take those good shots. Pagalawan tried to draw the foul to no avail. Escalante, still a three point lead for Adamson. They're just wasting away the time. Finally, a drive. Still doesn't go. That's going to be a foul called on number nine of Adamson. Well, that was clear right there over the back. That's what I mean. Yung Taitung guys boxing out are doing a good job right. of even drawing yung mga pushes from yung mga push galing sa likod, yung over the back. When Salida is called for that one. That's going to be his fourth. We have a timeout called by Adamson. We'll be right back. Final 49.4 seconds here in the fourth period. Noel Zarate with Rico Navarro. At nasulya pa natin si uh, Ruben Terrado. Also in attendance here from Spin.ph. And it doesn't get any better than this right now. You're in Bacolo, Taitung as a home crowd. Right. Adamson saying that we are the defending champions. We will fight hard despite all the mistakes we had in the first three quarters. We're up by three right now. And we will defend a championship. That's the Adamson thinking. But again, Bacolo Taitung, this is their home floor, technically. So can the local boys pull off the biggest upset in recent years? Inbounds play on nicely executed. However, it's a miss. And the follow-up will drop. Three-point play opportunity. Excellent play drawn out. You know, you know, Alex Compton is playing. Oh, Eric Altabir. Oh, boy. Andy John Villaver. Oh, Villaver has been very quiet today on offense. A chance to make his biggest noise if he can make this free throw. And we are tied at 60. Again, so calmly making the free throw at 15 years old, yeah, huh? That's true. Oh and boy. the home crowd now cheering for defense. 36 seconds to play. Kinyal. Still the 2-3 zone. 7 to shoot. Mailim. 
Can't get it to go. Rebound. Makulog. Mailim takes it away. And Mailim cannot Whoa. obtain it. 19.3 to go. And Taitung High School, Bacolod, with a chance to grab the lead. Alam mo, walang shot clock, Noel. They can play out the entire 19.3 seconds. Fritz Villamere is on the floor. He, he'll take care of this offense. Alam mo, like I say, you live and die with him right now. Kabila naman, it's, it's Fritz, uh, Fritz Valencia, sorry. That's Bilimere, right. Bilimere, power forward. Valencia has it. 15 seconds remaining in regulation. At a screen, dribble drive down. The rest. Valencia. Teo traveling violation. Good call. Adamson still has one timeout left. And they will use it now with six seconds. They can win this in regulation, Rico. And you're talking about right now, Fritz Valencia, Jeffy Mailim. Yes. They're taking the lead role for both sides right now. Both just committed errors on their side. Will Jeffy Mailam get the ball when they get the ball back? Well, we'll find out. Of course, Adamson University blew out the opposition last year in Baguio. I had a chance to cover that, of course, with Ruben Terrado. But now, it's either, ano ba, Rico, they got scouted or maganda lang talaga ang pinakitang game plan itong Taitung or it could be a combination of the, of the two. Well, combination of the two. And again, for Bacolo Taitung, you're playing on home court. I think that's a very big factor right, right. now. Put it this way, had this game be played somewhere else, I'm not sure if that would be the same. Right. The, 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 the hunger, the, the, the thirst in their eyes right now, they're scrabbling for the loose balls. In terms of the energy factor, the hustle points, because lamang na lamang ang Taitung. Right. Because there are unforced errors on the part of Adamson. Again, and they're, like you said, they're enjoying, in fact, you can say they're enjoying this deadlock. Well, can Adamson get a basket within six seconds? Kinyal will trigger it in. So, mailim pa rin to. Mailim comes out. Mailim does get it. Three seconds. Mailim lost the ball. And Bakola Taitong is out of timeouts with nine tenths of a second remaining. They're going to have to trigger this in from the backcourt. And we are going into overtime. Five more minutes of free basketball. And like we said, it doesn't get any better than this right now. Championship game, Bacolod playing at home. Yeah, hindi pa po yan ang final score natin. Ha? We still have an overtime <laughs> period. It is the end of the fourth overtime when we return. Stay with us. And back with us here, ladies and gentlemen, at the uh, University of St. LaSalle Coliseum in Bacolod City. Kinulang po ang 40 minutes para ma-determine kung sino po magkakampyon sa ating Pasarel Division. Well, we have five more minutes of free basketball. Noel Zarate alongside Rico Navarro. And again, credit has to go to Taitung. They have come in with a game plan. They have followed it to the letter. But this isn't over yet. And you see Adamson making the adjustment. Jeffy Mailin is not on the floor right now. Right. That's a number of adjustment coming from the Adamson side. Uh-oh. Almost a loose ball. And too many trees once again inside. Denying that shot. Coming from Kagalawan. Pinyal. Escalante. Passes up on the free three. Kenyal had one earlier. Can't get this one to drop. And uh, that's going to be a team rebound for uh, Taitung Bakolod. 
Alam mo, okay lang yan. Again, that was a better offense where they passed the ball around and the guy wide open took the shot. Pressure broken immediately. And hitting the deck, Kagalawan finding a friend. They want to restore order in their offense. Driving it blocked once again. Alam mo, pag nagawa na one ng Taitong, again, they can't get that shot because of, because of the threes. Right. Like you said, so. And another turnover force. This time it's a four on two. Hang time move can't work. And that's going to be last touch again. And so the score is not yet moved here, um, Rigo. Well, that was the adjustment also made by Taitong. Point guard is out. Je our other Fritz Val. Valencia, si Perigua. Uh -oh. the, the lefty is on board right now in overtime. But he did not see action in the fourth quarter. That's right. So, interesting twist there, no? But Perigua actually uh, gave a good account of himself in the first. Yes. I mean, Fritz has to sit down on the bench for a while. He'll probably come back in the last two minutes. Unless Perigua suddenly plays so yeah, much exactly. better here. Kenyal tries again. Still can't buy it. Battle for the loose ball, picked up here by Perigua. Patient offense once again being shown. Oh, nice floater, didn't fall though. And Mahilim saves it. <laughs> I think got away with the push. That's true. <laughs> with his left hand. Underneath, Hanapi. And there's going to be a foul called. And, and that's why uh, it's just a regular baseline out of bounds. All that's right. why I like the hustle. But you talk about a guy like uh, Gulmatico, who's around 5'8", mm -hmm. going up against six to Hanapi, and still can force him to that, well, a turnover because of that uh, baseline. Uh, Gulmatico likes to provide picks, that's oh, yeah. for sure. <laughs> He's still playing the long court, though. And dangerously close to the baseline. That's going to be another turnover. Believe it or not, Rico, we played over two minutes in this overtime. We still have no score. Well, pagod. Uh, that, <laughs> that's for sure. That both teams are a bit tired right now. Pang last two minutes ang scoring nito. Right. It all depends. If somebody can knock down a deep one, it's going to force the opposition to hustle. Sinusubukan niya na Adamson. Here's their fourth three-point attempt in the overtime. And finally, Jeffy Mailim gets it to drop. I mean, you, you hate him. You love him. Yeah. You make a three-point basket, okay lang. You made a mistake, Jeffy. Yun. Well, 63-60. Adamson up. Pambawing tres. Good line, just a little off. That one, of course, coming from uh, Esparagosa. 63-60. Two and ten to play in overtime. Good weak side pass. Three-pointer, Mailim, no. And Hanapi tracks it down. And we got two minutes remaining in overtime. 63 Adamson, 60. And make that 66 Adamson, 60. For Bakola Taitong, courtesy of Kinyal, and a timeout called by Bakola Taitong High School. They're down by six, but this is still far from over. One minute and 51 remaining in overtime. It is 66 to 60. Makolo Taitong High School has yet to score in this extension, Rico. And uh, if they want to salvage their championship chances, they better score on this particular offensive thrust. And this is where you're seeing Adamson right now. More composure, the more experience right now. I'm not too sure how many times Taitung has gone into overtime or into crunch time periods uh -huh. like this. Uh -huh. So I think maturity level 151, like scoreless. 
as Paragoza will throw it in. Semi stack formation now for Taitong. Valencia back on the floor. There's a drive that is rejected. Last touch against the White Shirts. I'm not too sure about that play. We, we hated it when Adamson would go just one on one. Right. And now I'm surprised that they did that for Titan with Villamerde. Yeah. Valencia also earlier. Uh, I think Espargoza rather blocked against the trees. Huh? Well, they'll start needing some three point shots. Oh, that's going to be an offensive foul. And that will disqualify. See, Aaron Bensalida. Yeah, Bensalida. That's his fifth foul. And a technical foul. Technical foul on Adamson's bench. And I'm like, 135 remaining. You don't need that because, again, you're up by six. You are up by six right now. You do not want to give Taitong any chance to catch up. That's a technical foul called on coach. Gino Enriquez. So what is this? One free throw. Yes, one free throw for Fitz. And Valencia cannot capitalize. I remember the, the question of Coach Gino that time uh, was that was that a hooking foul when he went around to go for that uh, baseline drive? Right. But again, you, know, you don't want to give them the technical foul. You don't want to give them extra shots right now. You're up by six points. Well, here's the sub coming in. Esmeña will uh, take care of the disqualified Escalante. Oh, check that. That's uh, Bonsalida. Disqualified on five fouls. So a minute and 32. Can Taitong do it? They'll need some quick baskets now. They'll get it to the side. Three-pointer not there. And a rebound picked up by Esmeña. And Maidim will just try to befriend the clock at this point, Rico. And not only that right now, 2-3 zone pa rin yan. Ay, tumira pa. Oh. Well, why not? Kinyal with his third triple of the game. And I think Taitong has run out of bullets now, Rico. I don't know, they've broken down completely going one-on-one. -on -one. Remember, the last three plays were all one-on-one -on -one uh -huh. plays. Sayang yun when they were actually executing very well in the first of the entire regulation period. Well, Taitong has not scored in the overtime. They had that foul to give. And they're coming back in. For Taitong will be uh, Kagalawan. So less than a minute remaining. Will Adamson defend their championship? They're looking good. Up by nine with 50 seconds to play in overtime. And they are wasting away the precious seconds. Another three. This time a miss by Mailim. And to the front court. That's going to be a foul. Villamer will be set to the free throw line. Well, there's no Perigua, there's no Valencia as a point guard for Titan right now. So my guess is, by default, Villamere becomes a point guard. Point forward. Oh. Point guard, power forward. Point forward. But Villamere got the dalo in the free throw line. Trying to give Titan their first points in overtime. And they have missed all their free throws in the extension. And you're right about the experience factor, Rico, of Adamson. Coming to the forefront here in the final five minutes. Kumbaga stepping up and saying, Oi, handali lang. we're the stronger team, we know we can win and we'll do this. Simple lang. And finally a point para dito sa Bacola Taitong High School. So half a minute remaining in the championship game. Adamson University will uh, be having more free throws courtesy of Jeffy Mailim. And you're seeing the, kumbaga, the in faces, the, the, the body language of the Taitung side right now. They're just, they're just broken down nah. already. I mean, gone is the you know, hunger, the thirst they had all regulation time. They had many chances to win this in regulation. But uh, some key turnovers in the stretch prevented that. And this game went into overtime. And uh, Jeffy Mailim 
Badge it up to a nine-point lead. And again, the final score will not reflect how close this game really was. Oh, yeah, yes, definitely right now. And how tough, the Taitong. I mean, uh, one of the few games I think that Adams was really challenged. No? Right. All tournament long, even from Met the Metro Manila leg. Taitong had a chance to win this in regulations. We kept on uh, saying they can't even buy a field goal here in the overtime. Alarcon can't get that one to go either. And Mailim will just get this across, doesn't even have to get it across. And says enough to his opponents. And Adamson University defends their championship in the Passerelle division of the Milo Best SVP Passerelle Twin Tournament. This time it's an emphatic nine point win in overtime against the uh, Bacolod Taitung High School. But hats off to the local boys. Well, at the start, before the game, or even before the national final started, everybody's pointing to Adamson to score easy wins all the way. Face their toughest challenge here in the championship game. Heads up for Bacolod Taitung playing at home. They gave it their all, but at the end of the day, uh -huh. we saw Adamson I mean, imposing its might, its heft, and its outside shooting. And of course, the question is, can Adamson also win in the uh, dance-off <laughs> later on tonight? Uh, it's a fellowship night, but that banner says it all, folks. They are the champions of the Passerelle Division of the 2016 National Finals of the Milo Best SBP Passerelle Championship here in Bacolod. On hand to present the trophy here uh, is actually the congressman from Bacolod, Greg Gasataya. Right. I was hoping to present it, of course, to uh, the uh, home team, but Adamson worked hard. They deserve this. And they'll be very, very tough to topple in the upcoming season as well. Oh, yes. Back to back, Nayan. I'm sure oh. they're capable of scoring a free peak. Once again, congratulations. To Adamson University, the Baby Falcons have done it. They have defended their championship. And uh, they are once again on top of the Passerelle world here in the Milo Best. And uh, there's a camera in front of us. So uh, we're actually going to see ourselves on television, Mr. Navarro. At least, may evidence po na nandito kami ni Rico sa Bacolod. So again, your assessment of this game and uh, what can we expect now in our SVP Championship? Well, first of all, Adamson, they were expected to take it all. I mean, even win by a mile. Bacolod Taitung stood tough, defended its home turf, but just didn't have enough. Right. Para man ako baka yung yung cell phone battery pang pang regulation lang eh. Uh, big lang na low bats sa overtime. But again, nothing to be ashamed of for the people from Bacolod. Well, ladies and gentlemen, sa amin pong pagbabalik, La Salle Green Hills from Metro Manila, taking on the University of the Visayas, the Baby Lancers, trying to do what Taitung almost did to Adamson. And of course, you know those, uh, those boys very well from the University of the Visayas, being from Cebu yourself, Rico. What can we expect from the UV Baby Lancers? Well, UV Baby Lancers right now, they're, all, they're, they're the heart of the entire tournament. I right. Mean, they're not kumbaga, physically gifted, they're not very tall, but uh, kumbaga, sa puso yan, okay yan. The Salgini is, however, deep, Talented as we see the, the UV lineup right there. Their go to guys right now are number four, Mike Monton, number 14, uh, Sean Salarza. They have a Daniel Padilla, by the way, number they 17, do, they do, okay. they do. <laughs> and Frank Gamodada no, uh, for the UV side. Well, of course, La Salle Green Hills, this is a powerhouse uh, team out of uh, Metro Manila. They did win the championship also last year when we had this event in Baguio City. Um, they will be very, very tough to topple as, as well. But if anybody can do it, it's a team from the South, especially the University of Visayas. Again, Manila versus Visayas rivalry at its best. Ito Cebu versus Manila to, no? But again, the Salgri the, the biggest advantage they have, even their youngest players, in terms of skill set, are complete. Eh? That's what I really appreciate about this team. Even their nine-year-olds right. can handle the ball, can defend uh, up against just about any team thrown at them. Well, again, we have a different set of rules here. Eight-minute periods na po tayo dito ngayon instead of a, the usual 10-minute period. And the penalty situation is at seven team fouls. So, yun nga lang, five personal fouls pa rin para sa mga players. That's right. That's right. So, again, we expect to see some fireworks and the championship of the small basketeers. We will have that for you like, right here live on Spin.ph coming to you from Bacolod. Uh, Rico and I will step away for a few moments when we return. The action dito po sa SBP Championship right here in Bacolod. Number four, Ethan Roth Alina. 
11, Mark Andrew Cardenilla. 12, Lorenzo Ryan Confidente. 8, Joshua Caleb Coronel. 10, Diego Emilio Cruz. Number 15, Jean Dominic Espino. 19, Lorenzo Alfonso Hizo. 17, James Juan Hizo. 7, Amigo Miguel Julio. 6, Javier Luis Reyes Hugo. Hi, Miguel Francisco Mendoza. 16, Andre Miguel Minas. 18, Franz Esquiel Muñuela. 9, Miguel Angelo Paulo Rivero. 14, Miguel Santino Romero. Assistant coaches of the Sun Green Hills, Mr. Matthew Sinier, Mr. Carl Santos, head coach for the Sun Green Hills, Justin Anthony Khan. Champions of the Messiah's Major from Cebu City University of the Messiah. Number one, Juliano A. Aragon. 16, J.P. Lazarte. 5, Juan Torres Oclari. 17, Daniel Padilla. 11, Rafael Hans Suan. 10, Jaguar Alfaz. 7, Kapo na po na po dito para sa UV Baby Lancers. They all look like Baby Shark. Okay. <laughs> sila. Medyo kalbo. Parang JR Kenyahan po lahat. And uh, they have come unified. They, they really look like babies compared to the uh, Lasal Green Hills lineup. Ang tawag po dito mga Shaolin boys nga sila <laughs> tayo. And I'm sure if JR Kenyahan is watching, he knows the coach very well. JR Mark. Yes. Kaya nagkasama po sila. And uh, again, it's UV na looking for an upset of a Cebu versus Manila showdown. Lasal Green Hills easy favorite here. Yeah, well, Lasal Green Hills did get the championship, of course, uh, last year. They defended that. And now, they're trying to defend it once again. This time, eh, mas malapit naman itong uh, pwesto ng uh, Cebu dito sa Bacolod. But again, they are the taller lineup. We have the uh, lineups already para sa magkabila ko for Lasal Green Hills. They were, they're starting off with uh, uh, the Hugo Brothers. At ito si Cruz, Espino, and Hizon. At para naman dito sa University of the Visayas, they have Monton, Oclarit, Cortez, uh, Aragon, and their very own version of Daniel Padilla. He's very <laughs> tall. He's very tall, though. And the key player here to watch out. Key player, I mean, the favorite player of all. Look at number eight, Cortez. Okay. <laughs> Carl Cortez is the favorite of all right now. And, and when you see him play, he will draw the cheers of everyone here. The crowd here, ecstatic, Noel, you have the Rasal, well, the typical Rasal cheering battalion there, no, on their own. Oh, pero mahirap, mahirap i-discern kung sino yung 
Ka, uh, yung mga cheaters, <laughs> lahat po naka-berde. <laughs> like green po lahat. <laughs> Oo, lahat naka-berde. Because Lasal, of course, they're known as the Green Archers. UV known as the Green Lancers. And then, number side the uh, trivia here, you also have a battle of two congressmen here, actually. That's true. <laughs> right. Congressman Sam Sam Gulias, yes, uh, he's here. team owner of the University of Visayas. That was uh, Congressman Mikey Romero's son, plays for Lasal Green Hills. That's right. First attempt, first possession belonging to the UV Baby Lancers. Dalawang tira ka agad sa tres. And that is taken away immediately. So Lasal Green Hills, we know them for their high-octane high offense talaga ito. But the defense of the Baby Lancers will be tested here as well as Hugo knocks it down. That is Javi Hugo. And immediately 3-0 on ating score. How old is this kid? What, 10 years old? And the role of the youngest kids of at the SBP team, they'll be the outside shooters. Alam mo yun, they right. put them in the corners. Yung mga malalaki, they'll be old, they'll drive down, tapos kick out pass just like that. Portes! Oh! Oh! <laughs> so what did I tell you? I mean, he is the club favorite of the national finals. No? Uh, he's could have fooled me. He looks like a junior version of Paul Lee. <laughs> Here's Hugo. Getting it out, Espino. The lefty strokes it. Oh, nobody boxing out. He's on easy follow-up. A lot of miscommunication that time on defense. Wide open, no? Huh? That offensive rebound and put back. Azio, he's on with his first basket of the game. Puro three-pointer pa ang BBT-1 dito na UV. And here's the Hugo brothers working together. Javi Hugo, five points in the game. Yeah, Javi Hugo is not exactly the guy they go to for points, but again, he'll take it. Right. Outside shot, laid up. Ito yung uh, bata kapatid niya, Camilo Hugo. Yes, yan po talaga yung mga itsura ng mga players sa SPP. <laughs> That's why they are the highlight of this tournament. They look like they just came out of the stroller. And remember, the, the tournament was set up actually to also be the basketball venue for exposure for the clinic. Yes. Okay, may basketball, the may best center clinic. So lahat ng magmino ng clinic, Dito na naglalaro sa SB Pasadena Tournament. And all these guys uh, have, have enrolled in that clinic. Espino, not shy to pull the trigger. That one rolls out. Good rebound. Picked up by Padilla. Or Monton, rather. Monton, over to Padilla. And there goes Daniel Padilla. Yan yung combination. Yan ang Matt and Jeff Tandon. Na Mike Monton and Daniel Padilla here for the UV side. Ladies down to three. Hugo has been Mr. Offense for LaSalle Green Hills, not that time. Uh, kind of forced the issue that time. Now when you're hot, you're hot. Here's Monton. Drop pass inside once again. And Padilla has scored back-to-back -back baskets now. Yeah, UV does very well when they go to the running game. Yeah. You give it to Monton, dere dere and then he'll find Padilla underneath. Hugo to Hugo. The brothers connect again, but this time it doesn't work. Padilla. Monton. Trying to get it into the front court for Aragon. And that is a steal. A great defense played by Padilla. Hugo, crossover. Hugo on the run. And he will earn it from the line. And the JR, J. Marcano immediately very vocal with his kids. That's the pati coach, Semi Calbo. That's the pati coach. Well, he knows if they can out-hustle Lasal Green Hills, they have a chance. And that's what they did earlier. Mike Monton will bring the ball up court, will rush the ball up court because of his speed. Right. And he can outrun any Lasal Green Hills defender there. Then normally Daniel Padilla will always be there for that drop pass. Hugo's got six of their eight points in this game. So Javi Hugo splits the free throws. Here comes Monton for UV. Monton pushing it up. Monton. Good ball movement again being shown by UV. Padilla turns the corner. Padilla with the stretch. He has six of their eight points. And Hugo dribbles it out of bounds. And just like the Pasadena game between Taitung and uh, Adamson, if UV can just can, can stay with that's how good he is, no? Yeah. And they stick to them. They, they don't have a chance of winning this thing. There's Cortez. Has a lot of fans, obviously, but he throws it away. Into the front court. Hugo to Hugo. 
And this time, the brothers can't connect once again. A great block, however, body contact is called. Now, this is something you'll see on the LaSalle Green Hill side where all the five players on the floor, they'll have the edge over the five players of UB in terms of skill set. That's why you have some guys like the Hugo brothers. Yeah. Actually, they can score as well, even if they're not the go-to guys. Here, you talk right. about Hison. Uh, and Espino are the go-to guys actually here for the first quarter of the Saga Hills. And uh, you can also add Diego Cruz, yes. who makes his first free throw. Dami kaliwete nitong uh, first unit ng uh, La Sal. If you notice, yeah, that you have uh, Cruz, Espino also a lefty. And there are two free throws made, 10-8 La Sal. And I'm sure you remember last year's team, they were there together with Kenneth Durende's son. That's right. Who's now in the Pasadena. Padilla, Monton, is swinging around, tend to shoot. Monton has been too busy facilitating to look for a shot. Oclarit, Monton, driving, lets it fly. Padilla contains it. And another side three, that's his third of attempt of the game already. We're talking about Juliano Ar 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 Aragon. Foul on Lasal. I know Yubi's offense will be, I mean, they'll be banking on Mike Monton, Daniel Padilla, and when they're not available, I don't kick out pass to the corner three. Yeah, and then the man. And I finally, hit. Aragon <laughs> nails one. Aragon, that's his fifth attempt from downtown, from the same spot. But if you open up the offense so that Daniel Padilla and Monton can open inside, then I guess why not? And the lead now belongs to the University of Visayas. Hugo can't buy it. Here comes Monton into the front court. Monton wants to take it all the way. Nicely done. And that's how UB has won their games here right now. Outrunning the other side, Monton and Padilla. Exact well, examples of that. Five unanswered points now for the University of the Visayas. And they have a three-point lead. Timeout, LaSalle. Three minutes and 23 remaining in this action back first quarter. The small basketeers of the Philippines championship here in Bacolod. Noel Zarate alongside Rico Navarro. And this is the purest form of basketball you will ever find anywhere in the world. Bang, I began. You just said, right, purest form. They're just, I think they're just playing their guts out. That's right. Lasal <laughs> down by three on a five to nothing run. And that is promptly ended. By Camilo Hugo. And the smaller guys of Las Aguinas are doing the scoring, the Hugo brothers. That's right. Camilo with a near steal. Monton. Hounded by Camilo. The Hugo brothers converge on him. And it is Javi with a steal. I thought it was a Hugo sandwich. That's a Hugo sandwich. Javi on the sidestep. That's going to be an offensive foul. Good call. He was a little out of control. Could have been traveling. Could have been uh, yeah. offensive foul. So turnover. Good defensive stand there, Sean by Mike Monton. Again, these are kids. The oldest should be around 12 years old. Correct. Uh, the age group division here, 9, 10, and 11. Five players each of 9, 10, and 11 on right. January 1. So there are some who have turned 12 after January 1. It's December, so most of them right. are probably 12 by now. Pull up. No, for Espino. Monton, as we approach two and a half remaining in the first. Mike Monton. Mike Monton with a great sidestep. And he erases Diego Cruz. <laughs> that was Terrence Romeo-like. 15-12 for the Baby Lancers. Javi Hugo on the run. Not that time. Diego Cruz back to the free throw line. He goes. Mike Monton called for the foul. I think in normal form with the five guys on the floor. You normally have a two or three smaller guys. Yeah. Everybody else will be big. So that's Cruz and Espino for the Lasal Guinea side. Tapos Padilla and Monton for the UV side. Carl Cortez looks like he can still fit in a stroller. 
<laughs> para sa University of the Visayas. Cruz had two free throws made earlier, missed the front end this time. So Diego Cruz, oh, can't get any of them. I forgot the free throw in Parana Noel, well, no? It's one foot inside. The oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh, you right. see that masking tape on the floor? That's right. Yan yung, yung po yung free throw line ng SPP Division. Monton, under two minutes to play here in the first. Monton, again, very busy facilitating. And he's forced into a traveling violation. Good converging defense by LaSalle. Excellent way to adjust, Dave. I mean, scouting wise, they've seen his moves before. So with that zone, they know where to kumbaga, block him off. But still 15 to 12 in favor of UV. And Javi Hugo holds it back. Good pick provided by Cruz. Javi to his younger brother. But Camilo can't score. Cruz traveling. And again, they are very strict here. Because fundamentals palang rico yes. kailangan matutunan mo na rito. The referees from the Nabro, of course, uh, our good friend, Mr. Mario Montiel, is here to oversee. Yeah, Mario Montiel takes care of the SPP division. Of the SPP yeah. division, yeah. Brian Tabanyo takes care of the Passerel division. Another three from the side. He's one out of six. Hurtong Ebat Uliano Alarco, Aragon, rather. And Hugo decides to drop it off. Good decision. And this is where the more balance, the deeper La Salle Greenies is stepping up now. Even if they're by and behind by one, that's the way they like to score, spreading the offense. You can see Aragon is just parked there at the side. Aragon! And Oclarit gets it. Under a minute to play here in the first. Monton, they'll get it once again to Aragon. And Aragon is fouled this time. It's a two-point field goal. So free throws coming up. And if you're uh, La Salle Green Hills, why can't we stop this guy from shooting? And two things right there. Because they are going down on Daniel Padilla. Uh -huh. Padilla is trying to uh, even get himself open underneath. If Mike Ponton cannot find him, he doesn't have a choice but to give it up. Either he drives himself or give it up to Aragon at the corner. Aragon fails on the front end. Still a one-point lead for the uh, Baby Lancers. When you talk about Baby Lancers, again, as we mentioned earlier, they really look like babies. <laughs> no hair. It's about rich, rich basketball tradition. Oh, you, you, UV. Bet, I mean, you uh, bet. The latest guy is up there, Greg Slaughter. Yeah, Greg Slaughter's there. Jair Kinyahan. That's going to be a lane violation on UV. I think that's also the free throw shooter stepping beyond. Oh, Again, I see. You masking tape yan, you cannot step beyond that. Because they give them room for, to jump forward a bit. Right. Because they can't really shoot the ball. So it's a 14 foot free throw. Yes. Hugo lets it fly from deep. No. Padilla scrambling for it. Here's Monton for the Baby Lancers. Monton again on a big sidestep. He has a very explosive first step, this kid. Ah. Avi Hugo continues to push the pace and he scores again. A relatively high scoring ball game after watching the Pasarel game. Right. But it's actually a very close game yes. as well. Oclarit finds Padilla in the post. Padilla gets it out. Monton penetrates. No whistle. Five seconds remaining in the first. Lasal can still get this one off. Hugo. Over to Hugo. And the Hugo brothers can't save it. But Lasal Greenhills up by one at the end of the first eight minutes of action. 16 to 15. We will have the second period when we return.
sure kamag-anak nila yan. Paulo naman. Start of the second period in this one, ladies and gentlemen. The championship of the small basketeers of the Philippines coming to you live right here in Bacolod City. We are at the University of St. LaSalle Gymnasium. Noel Zarate alongside Rico Navarro. Pati yung commentators nyo po, isang taga Manila, isang taga Bisaya. <laughs> At wala po rivalry dito. <laughs> so completely new lineup again for both squads as we begin the second. That's a traveling violation called on James Eason. He is joined there by uh, Ethan uh, Alian, who's a very tall kid. Uh, Miguel Mendoza, Jello Rivero, at si uh, Rans Muyuela. And uh, for the University of the Visayas, you were talking very highly about Frank Gabu uh, Gabunada. And he's hemmed in. Alam mo, Lasal, do you know what they did from the onset? Deny Gabunada. Yeah. Full court, pre I mean, full court coverage of Gabunada not to receive the ball. And uh, James Eason. Able to get the first basket of the second. This second unit of Lasalle is very aggressive in the half court. The uh, full court press. That's a good steal. Here's Alian. And Alian using his height to get that one done. And how many 12 year olds will make that kind of a move? Right. Pick right, spin left, maybe hook shot. Well, they have, uh, they're old enough to watch Tim Duncan. Well, okay. <laughs> and, and like you said, the defense of Lasalle right now up on the sleeves, up right there on UV right now. They're denying Gabunada to receive that pass, and they're harassing Tigmo. Right. So they, if you harass Tigmo and deny Gabunada the pass, that's the offense right there for oh, you. Oh, that's true. Alamo, I don't know if you can see this, Noel, but kasama po yan sa trabaho ng referee dito. Tagatali na si Tas. Kasama po yan sa trabaho ng mga referee in the SBT division. There are some kids who have problems tying their shoelaces oh, yes. pa rin. Oh, yes. And again, all for the development. People, guys, you were mentioning uh, earlier that uh, Kim Montalvo and Terdi Ravena went up against each other here. But we're going to be able to get the same thing. And one of the assistant coaches of Lasal Green Hills played SBP basketball. He was the MVP. MVP yeah. I forgot his name. There was a kid named Kifa Ravenna who was yeah. the, a nine-year-old kid for La Salle Hills, yeah. but who was already scoring for them. Yeah, you're talking about Matthew C, I believe. Yeah, 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 correct. Oh. Third over once again, this defensive unit for La Salle doing wonders. Rivero, dead score. They get it back. Rivero tries again. Better defense this time by UV. Into the front court now, Tigmo. And Gabunada had a... Wide open lane, nagulat siya, naglakad. Well, he was expecting Tigmo to go deeper with that dribble before the usual handoff. Uh -huh. Medyo makaga yung handoff or the pass rather. But again, it's the South Green Hills pressing. Eh. They're, they're covering Gabonada all court. Oh, they, they were able to force the turnover. Once well, again, uh, eight minute periods ang tayo dito. And UB hasn't scored. They're looking forward to scoring here. A nice return pass. Jumper Sagili does not work. And Lasal gets it back. Into the front court. Muyuela. Muyuela takes it all the way and he's able to draw the foul against Josh Mar Canoy. The son of Jim Mar Canoy. That's right. <laughs> so that will send Muyuela to the free throw line. Rans Muyuela. As you can see there, uh, Jim Mar Canoy. A few words to the surprise center, Franca Gabunada. If you think you can uh, visualize J.R. Kinyahan as a kid, that would be Frank Gabunada. Okay. <laughs> you be the good. That's right. Free thrower violation as a uh, second one is airballed by Moyuela. Um, would you be, uh, they also make trips to Manila? Like, 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 right, right. Every time they go to Manila, automatically, I'm jail to Manila, you go to the visit. Of course. Don't stop the kids from the bank for dinner. Automatically, I'm jail. Remember the likes of uh, Stephen Cobbler, uh, Manada, yeah. to the uh, stalwarts of the University of the Visayas. Uh, when I started broadcasting, actually, we broadcasted yeah. them the last time. We played for a player. So, I'm going to tell you as well. Oh, 
pressure continuing to be applied by Lasan. Good dive for the ball, but it will go back to the Green Archers. This quarter is all about the defense of the Lasan Green side. They haven't given you a chance to set up at all, or let alone even bring the ball across the half court. Yeah, okay. But for all of that, oh, nice give and go. We got one of Foul number 13, pushing foul. Follow the bird. Eleven. First personal. Five team foul. Another error. Oh. Santo Adrián, losing the 
ball. Time out, LaSalle.
Gabunada, full head of steam. Gabunada can't get the layup. He's on, intercepted that time by Suwan. Suwan stops. Suwan has to take it away. Alian, and he misses again, but the follow up is good, and that's going to end our second period. So finally, Jello Rivero able to end that one. Only four points scored by the University of the Visayas. 20 points scored by La Salle Green Hills. We'll have the third period when we return. Stay with us. Start of the third period in this one. The championship of the small basketeers of the Philippines. And so far, it has been a dominating performance, especially in that second period by Nasal Greenhills, where they outscored the University of the Visayas 20 to 4. Courtesy of their defense. And that came all from that pressing, swarming defense, denying Tigmo, denying Gabunado to touch the ball. And here's another Come turnover on. force. We have Coronel handling the ball as Joshua Coronel. Coronel can't get it to drop. Nice crashing of the boards that time by Carganilla. And he finds a wide open teammate in Lorenzo Competente. And the bad news for UB right now, this is even a deeper five players for the South Green Hills. Right. A more aggressive defensively, however. That's going to be a nice recovery by Salarza, Sean Salarza. He said one of the key players actually recalled the squad been the best player so far no, in, in the national finals and another interception this time from JP Lazarte Lazarte drops it over to Gallo and that's a good foul given up by Joshua Coronel he had uh, no friends in the area and like we said a deeper set of five right now but my concern for Caganilli he's holding on to his right knee mm -hmm. I think he banged it with a uh, Play, but he, he looks okay, but will be slowed down a bit. Malino. Move it around once again. This time, Sean Salarza. Salarza, great Euro step. And that's why he's a good to go. But besides who you'll find us, he actually played sick. Uh -huh. He will under the weather. And they said he will step up here in national finals with the best player so far the past two days. Coronel tries his own version of the hero step, but this time he took one step before he took off. If you can do it, I can do it too. Right. But we're traveling. Salarza, now tagged as the go-to guy. The defense of Lasal is going to be in the middle. Gallo puts it on the floor. Looks for a friend. 
They get it outside. Jumper off the glass almost, but not quite. And there's going to be a jump ball. Possession arrow pointing towards Nasal. And Santi Romero, inbounding, of course, his father never misses a game. It's, of course, Congressman Mikey Romero, who is now the uh, chairman of the Philippine Basketball Association, in attendance here in Bacolod. There's going to be a foul called. This one will go against uh, JP Lazarte. Alam mo, the idea for you be here, Noel, uh, do it one separate time. Kaya lang problema dito, uh, you're talking about a bigger and a deeper na sagin his foul. Right. And another foul. This time called on uh, Salarza. That's going to send Andrew Carganilla to the free throw line. Another lefty. Dami talaga nila, no? Carganilla, I remember covering a volleyball game where there were four players. Beach volleyball. Magalaba na apat na players. Puro kalimete. <laughs> So 38 to 23, unsuccessful at the free throw line. That's a bad pass. Competente gets to it. Romero asking for it. Carganilla goes to the other side. And that will drop in for Andre Minas. And the foul on Minas. We're not seeing that now they're coming at it. No full court press or at least. Cover the toughest guy. Now they'll cover Salarza now. Mm. It's a. Uh, cover the nice Salarza. That's going to be Romero's assignment now. Salarza forced to pick up his dribble. Romero had a hand there, and that's going to be an offensive foul called. Good hustle that time from Santino Romero. Those are the little intangibles. You have to remember, of course, his dad did play for La Salle. Oh, yes. But he was a third string backup, I believe. Romero takes up his dribble. He tried to feed the post. And that's another one. That's an easy one. Yeah, it's Coming all... from Carganilla, yeah. He's stepping. He's okay, stepping. I need to find him now. He's okay, okay, okay. Watching five minutes, yeah. UB, UB has just collapsed totally. I mean, from the second quarter to now, he definitely pick up a game, you know, another steal. That's going to be a foul in the backcourt called against uh, Emmanuel Gallo. And immediate, immediately 14 fouls. Of course, 17 fouls pong limit dito. Correct. Uh, the SB players were, I mean, the tendency to foul a lot yeah. is there. So, so you give them 17 fouls for a the situation. It's a great pass by Coronel inside, but Carganilla just couldn't uh, lift it up. Here's Salarza. Salarza called for steps again. I mean, nothing is going right for UB right now, except in first quarter. Yeah, that's now. it, that's it. Uh, second or third. They've not been able not to crack this defense, haven't been able to take a decent shot. Romero lost the handle, he lost possession. Lazarte in the front court. And he pulls up. And the rebound goes to Lasal. Coronel. Coronel against the entire defense. Great sidestepping move by Joshua Coronel. Sidestep na lang yun. Pero ang ganda, eksakto pagkabuhat niya ng bola, nakahagbang na siya. And Romero goes down, got hit in the face. Got hit in the ear. I don't know if that's ever happened to you, Mr. Navarro. You get hit in the ear, you get completely disoriented. In tempo shot. Yeah. Romero looks like he's okay. 21-point lead for the defending champions. Coronel. Romero, baseline J, comes up short. Bound for the rebound, here comes UV. Gallo in the front court. Gallo pulls up, can't get it to go. Good hustle, but that, still no ball. That was the most decent, the clearest shot yeah. of UV so far in this in the past two periods that they really haven't been able to overcome that sluggishness, to overcome the defense of the side. Well, JR Akbay is called for the blocking foul. Team foul number five for UV. Two away from the penalty. 
Still 3 and 34 to play in the third. Ang kawawa dyan, kung the UV players, parang they don't know what hit them, they don't know what to do now. Right. Well, this was not the five that blew that yes. that, that second quarter open. So they, this is supposed to be the recovery five. But, but the recovery five hasn't recovered. And the pressure is right there. The pressure is there for them to, to play catch up here. Right. Salarza takes it all the way. Will be rewarded with a trip to the free throw line. So foul yon contra kay Andrew Carganilla. So again, in the fourth quarter, or in the fourth period, labu-labu na yan. Anybody can come in. But, yeah, if, if Lasal can erect this kind of a lead with their role players, ano pa kaya pag nandiyan na yung malalakas nila? When you, do, when you go to the fourth quarter, your best players, your best uh -huh. 11 and 12-year-old players are on the floor already. And expect them to press some more. Yeah. Unless this goes, uh, we have to mention, unless this goes 25 points. So there is a mercy rule. Yeah, there is a mercy oh, rule. 25 point lead, wala nang full court press, half court pwede pa. And that's going to be a foul on the uh, rebound, on the split. Coming from Gallio. So the lead is 20 points right now. Pag umapas ng 25 yan, bawal na full court press. Pero yung kalaban pwede. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Coronel easily breaking the two-man press, but... Passed in between two teammates. It's a turnover against Lasal. So 44 to 24. Three minutes to play in the third. Gallio. Three players converging on him. And that's taken away once again by the stingy defense of Lasal. However, a bad pass. Got a four on two going the other way. Lazarte dropping it over. And that's going to be Sar Salarza scoring again. And Salazar has got all the points right now for right. UV on his side. Now what Lasal Gimnich is doing right now, if we can just shut down the top two scores of UV, you're okay. Because the other three guys will not be expecting to score. Competente, naiwan bukas. Three-pointer not there. And Vai gets it. Here comes Salarza. Salarza dropping it off and Lazarte was not ready. Lazarte na ipit na tuloy and he gives it away. Romero, outlet to Coronel. Into the front court, competente. No foul called that time. The ball will stay with Lasal. Yeah, did you see the way all five players can actually handle the ball and defend on the part of Lasal Genius? And we have a timeout called by the Green Archers. They're up by 18. We'll be right back. Taking a look at the uh, University of the Visayas Green Lancers earlier, and of course, LaSalle Green Hills just put on a masterful performance in that second period. That, uh, yun nga, talaga na maganing kalamangan after that. It's up, it was up to 20 points earlier, 21 actually earlier. Now 18 points. Now, the mental part of it, it's so tough. These are kids. You're yeah. talking about 90, 11 years old. How do you kumbaga, mentally prepare them to overcome a 20 point deficit like this? I can tell you, UV has never faced. Okay, a 20-point deficit in the past. Uh -huh. Salarza sees it's only 18, tries to cut it down to 16 on the foul on Romero. And another another situation where it's basically just a two-man offense for UV on, in every quarter. Salarza and Gallio here. You shut them down, you shut down the entire UV side. Now Salarza has scored all but one of their points. The other one went to Gallio yes. with another free throw earlier, but... Salarza missing that time. Salarza will split. Romero on the inbound. Romero has it. A minute and a half to play in the third. Romero, baseline J. Can't get it to go. Rebound Lazarte. Gallo. 
That's a good dribble he uh, displayed there. Salarza on the step back three. Loose ball picked up by Lasal. The pesky defense almost forcing a turnover. Approaching a minute to play. The drive does not work once again for Carganilla and another foul on Lasal. And you'll see that but I think Fulcro pressed that you deny Salara said they'll double him up. And the three other guys will not be effective in offense on the right. part of UV. Lazarte, however, breaks free and Lazarte scores. What the bonus there, and when the guys hit guys like Agbar, Lazarte, and so on to score. Well, the lead is down to 15, Rico. It was highest at 21, so some headway gained by the Green Lancers, and LaSalle cannot answer. Here's Salarza, has a teammate on the wing. It's a little too strong, Salarza cannot contain it. Coronel in the front court. A lot of white shirts down already. Coronel, that's a really dangerous pass. And lucky to get away with a foul called on UV. No, 55th ball, but the offense had the uh a position to oh. take that ball. That's why Salazar would be called for the foul. Another thing I wanted to mention here would be Yubi also tried to press, but when you press against bigger guys, you know, Lasalle Green Hills bigger across the board. Yeah, all five players. Well, again, Lasalle Green Hills, if they can apply the pressure, they know how to break it as well. Oh, yes. However, the interior defense of UV, medyo big thing na rin dito sa ating third quarter, and now Lasalle has to bleed for their points. Lasalle has not scored in quite a while. So this is their golden opportunity to change that with six seconds remaining. And at the line, Carganilla. Who does make the scoreboard move. So Carganilla knocks down two to make it a 17-point lead for LaSalle. And can you get the last shot off? Oh, a foul is called, but they did have a foul to give. Romero called for that one, that's his second. And okay, no, you can even foul again and deny UV to take another shot. 2.3, Salarza, full head of steam, comes up short. And at the end of three, it is 46 to 29, 17 Agabante, ng Lasalle Green Hills. Fourth period when we return. Fourth quarter is up on us, mga kaibigan. It is a 17-point lead for LaSalle Green Hills, the defending champions. Pero ito nga, 
anybody can play now as Salarza continues what he started in the third period here in the fourth. And uh, I'd like to see now how Coach J. Marcano can get that UV. And he's a former Lancer himself. Can you get that UV Lancer spirit into the five guys? That's right. These are, these are your best right now. Avi Hugo hasn't played since the first. Missing on his first attempt. The well, lead is 15. Manageable by Enrico, huh? Well, historically speaking, SBP division, Mahira playing 17 points. So, oh. But again, anything can happen here. That's a miss once again. As uh, Espino is back in the game, forced into a traveling violation. Good defense played by Tigmo. Well, so far, so good for UV. At the situations, uh, I don't know when people ask for, but it means nothing in the fourth quarter. Ay, mahirap yun. Nakasanayan na rin eh. Because eight minutes can go by very fast, especially when you're playing behind. That's exactly the challenge ngayon. Nakailangan dahanan itong uh, University of the Visayas. Tigmo. A minute gone by. Three-pointer on its way. Comes up short. And there's a follow-up. That one is going to be a miss by Gabunada. Gabunada stays with it. To get it outside. Oh, three-second violation. Gabunada never left the green area. Gabunada had a shot. Mike Montod had a shot. Suddenly, they're gun-shy when these guys are the scorers for UV. Right. Alamo, it's going to be... The Green Lancers going up against the Green Archers okay. <laughs> in a green court that is called La Salle here in Bacolod. How much greener can it get? <laughs> I know. <laughs> and we are wearing green shirts. Mga types natin puro ni. That's right. Jumper. That one is good. Coming naman dito from La Salle. And I'm for La Salle to use the jab. Use the jab. Just keep them at yeah. bay and uh, this game is in the bag. That was Carganilla knocking it down. Tigmo can't buy one. And Monton almost lost it. Tigmo, Monton, Padilla. Monton lets it fly. Good line but short. Another offensive rebound for the Green Lancers. Monton gets it to the side. Gabunada inside. Daniel Padilla traveling. A lot of adjustment being made by La Salle right now. They're playing the zone. Right. Okay, UV didn't recognize it right away. Now they went ball rotation. Kaya lang tight inside is that the other South defense. Well, Lorenzo Competento comes back in to replace James Eason. Under six minutes to play. Eason gets it over to the side. Jumper by Rivero comes up short. Last touch, Lasal. And here comes Ethan Alian. So, unti-unti na namang lumalaki line-up ng Lasal. There's Monton. Salarza. Tigmo. That's a good screen provided. That's an open three. Wala galing kay Monton. He gets it back though. Drops it off inside. Tigmo can't score. Here comes Lasal. Alian ambushed. And Salarza is going to take it all the way. And that's the rare sight of La Salle not being able to come back on defense, no? And it's UV applying that pressure defense now. Oh, uh, yeah, the big man bringing down the ball. That's usually a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Alian still has the ball. To the side, line to shoot. Another steal by Tigmo. Capunada. And they finally get it to Salarza. Tigmo. Gets it to Gabunada. Not much ball movement here on the screens. Gabunada tries to power his way in. Padilla, no. We have the shots at the right now. So Lars had shots only Monton did also. That basket will count for Competente. Great assist coming from Ethan Alian. Coronel will return. For personal foul number 14. That lead is 17 points. So, pagkakataong baguhin ulit yung score. Ni Lorenzo Competente, which he does. 51-33. The thing about TV I see right now, is that, you know, I don't think they've, been, they've faced no players like the Salginius. Uh -huh. In all previous games right now, where all five players are deep and tough. Traveling back. Nothing going right for the Baby Lancers. 
For example, yeah, Mike Monton is a guy who can dominate. Yeah. We saw his side steps earlier, he was stepping in his first quarter, but here, ito na hira pa siya. And then laki na ng kalaman. Ethan Alian tries to drop it off, Monton takes it away. Monton, one man to beat, that's Hugo Monton overshoots the layup. Competente into the front court, or make that Carganilla. Now slow it down. Hugo, I like the voice of this young kid. He's really a big point guard in the making. Nice defense, however, by Daniel Padilla. A note on Javi Hugo. He was actually knocked out yesterday. Yeah. Uh, injured, he didn't finish the game for this one. And I asked him, Javi, are you going to play? Of course I'm going to play in the championship game. Yeah, I mean, I'll just rest now. Yeah. But I'll be okay tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Watch out for this kid. He has the makings of a very stocky point guard one day. Padilla. That's it outside. Salarza, good extra pass. Three-pointer, still not there. Yuvi can't get anything from deep. Cabunada well, overshoots. Not only from deep, but also from inside. I mean, yeah. Cabunada is there. Salarza has had the chance. Well, you from the inside, very challenging. Oh, eh. yeah. The mga player ng Lasal doon. Pero they had a lot of wide-open looks. Tigmo passes up on the shot. Cabunada. Salarza. Monton. Monton, long two. The lead is down to 16. Pressure. Oh, nice takeaway by Tigmo. And he gets it down on the reverse. Lead is down to 14 at Medyo na Bahala na. Ito ko po na Lasal. And they will call a timeout. 51-37. Is it possible? We'll find out when we return. Two minutes and 49 seconds remaining in the championship game of the small basketeers of the Philippines. La Salle Green Hills up by 14. It was largest at 21, but UB is making inroads. Do they still have enough time? Three pointer comes up empty. Ethan Alian airballs that. With 230 left right now, chance a little bit slimmer uh. right now. At least they're taking care of the ball better here in the fourth. And, and they're fighting. They're fighting tough right now. Right. They're not giving up. Tigmo tries to get it inside. It's intercepted by Carganilla. Carganilla picked up his dribble in the backcourt. He's on. Hugo. Hugo tries to bulldoze his way in. That's a forced shot thrown up by Competente. And a foul on UV. Oh, that's how so, so tough to box out on a guy like Ethan Alian right there. Yeah. Yes, you're in front of him, but his arms are all, are all over your place. So, you know, go Abu as you push back, push back. Eh, like, you'll be called for the foul. Length better than heft that time. Here's Hugo. Three pointer not there. Carganilla. Under two minutes remaining in the championship game. Hugo was not looking. And talk about breaks. I thought for a while Sean Salarja touched the ball. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. So in a minute and 44. What kind of inroads can UV get? Tegmo was shooting it before he caught it. Anthony, a break's catching up on you. The pressure catching up on you. You know, you want to make a three-point shot. Uh -huh. yeah. Now here's Hugo. And Hugo's not necessarily quick. He's wow. not necessarily quick. The way he protects the ball. Uh, El Lapad. Eh. So, talagang pag nag-dribble oh. niya sa malayo. But, uh, it's a lot of body you have to go around. 
Yeah. Yeah. Almost including a thousand you protect the ball. Use right. your body, you can use your forearm to dribble against the defender. Dapat yung numero niya, Shete. Pwede. Jaworski dapat, eh, di ba? The way he uh, handles the point guard yeah. chores, mala Jaworski. But I wish that he grew taller. That he, he, grew, he goes to the pasarela and oh. keep his days. But keep the heft. Yes. Alian, yes. That's going to be a delay of game. Hold on, Lasal. You cannot impede the, the ball anymore after a made basket. You cannot even touch it. Yes. Unless na hulug si accidentally is pinalik ko. Yon. Yung mga ganong pinapakawala na referee. Ano ba style yun? Kinda kukuha yung ball. Kinda kukuha yung ball. Tapos pinipigay pa sa ref. Oo. Kinatapig pa po sa ref. So a minute and ten remaining. Lasal comfortably ahead. They will defend their championship. Tigmo. Ten to shoot. Under a minute to play. Five to shoot. Salarza. Still nothing from beyond the arc. And Hugo will befriend the clock. Alian, they still need to attack. Espino gets it to go. So 55 37, the cheers of Go Lasal can already be heard here at Lasal in Bacolod. And there's going to be a basket coming from uh, Frank Gabunada. Lasal will just get this one across, but they still give up a foul. They are still far from the penalty. Yeah, because they want. Yeah, he, coach. Jay Marcanoy now empties his bench. He brings in his baby Shaolin Five. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to do the same thing, but uh, a chance to. I think he's scrambling. He's not going to be able to get it. He's going to be able to get it. He's going to be able to get it. He's going pass the ball around until the end of the game. Whoever gives up the ball will get 10 push ups later. Okay. <laughs> That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, your champions for the small basketeers of the Philippines, La Salle Green Hills, via a 55 to 39 victory contra the University of the Visayas. It was close in the first period, but then suddenly a 20 to 4 run in La Salle uh, in the second period. That was the difference, and the rest is just gravy for them. I, you know, you know, I thought Lasal Greenwich was just too much man for man for every set of five. Dito was the second and third quarters. The Lasal five was so much deeper yeah. than the UB five right now. UB couldn't find any answers, couldn't get things going right there, and, and that's all she wrote right now. As Lasal Greenwich defense, they go back to back. Yeah. But a lot of positive signs, there are a lot of impressive players coming out. Of the University of the Visayas. We know that this UV, their college program is perhaps the best in the region, if not in the Visayas uh, uh, area. But this is a great school. Nila, so na rin, eh? Well, it's a relatively new program. Actually, they've never had an SBB pastoral program before. They revived, well, they resurrected it in the 2011, I believe. And this is the first time to make it all the way to the national finals. And this is a good sign moving forward. Para dito ni Coach J. Marcano and the rest of the baby Lancers. But the moment belongs to La Salle Green Hills. They are once again the champions, the national champions, and the best grade school program in the country. And uh, who knows which school can topple them. You can mention a few. You can probably mention the San Bedas out there. You can probably mention, uh, well, the UVs out there. And we talk about the program, the way they develop their SBP to pastoral program. It's perfect because all 15 players and getting the skill set of every single player up there. Remember, you have three age groups. When you get the youngest age groups to have the same skill set as your 12 year olds, that's all she wrote. Right. That's the biggest edge that Lasal Greenhills has over all other teams nationwide. And this is their moment. Once again, national champions 2016, uh, small basketeers of the Philippines champions, Lasal Greenhills. Of course, earlier today, we did uh, witness uh, Adamson University defend their. Pasarel Championship against a hard-fighting Bacolo Titan uh, High School that went into overtime. That was an amazing uh, game. Well, in, in the Manila versus Visayas battle, well, for me, biased ako. <laughs> Manila, Manila won, but deservingly so. But they survived a scare. 
right. from, Pasare, uh, from Bacolod Taito in the Pasarel Finals. Imagine mo umabot ng overtime okay. and I don't think Adams has ever been pushed to overtime. But the defending champions do keep their crowns. Adamson in the Pasarel Division and LaSalle Green Hills in the SVP Division. And that's all for us here in Bacolod City. Parting shot from you, my partner, Rico Navarro. Well, thank you for giving this chance to work with you, Noel. Uh, it's been a while and, and I love working with the youth right now. This is re where it all starts. All the futures of stars are here right now. And uh, later on, we'll see a lot of them uh, in, in the near future. Well, let's hope that we can see some of them in the next level. But for now, it is goodbye from Bacolod. On behalf of Rico Navarro, ito po si Noel Zarate. Paalam, you have been watching the National Championships of the Milo Best Passarel, SBP Passarel Twin Tournaments right here in Bacolod.